He's played under seven coaches in his time at St Kilda as Robert Harvey he was captain for a couple of years. He's greeting Darren Glass, who has the honour for the Eagles today in the absence of Chris Judd. And the toss of the coin being won by Robert Harvey. The Saints to the city in the left of screen for this opening term. Made his debut 11 days short of his 17th birthday. He was 16 years of age. A year 11 student from John Paul College in Frankston when he took on a Footscray team that had the centre line of Wallace and Wallace, Steve Wallace, Terry Wallace and Doug Hawkins. And here he is playing his 350th game as we welcome in Glenn Jakovich to the Fox Sports AFL commentary team. Glenn, good to see you again. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and great to be here. And uh, obviously a remarkable effort by Robert Harvey and uh, was very fortunate to play in his era and uh, probably the greatest player that I came across and uh, well done on his milestone today. Be great to see Shannon Hearn cross paths with him at some point during the course of the day because well, he was about 10 months old when was Robert he? Harvey <laughs> made his <laughs> AFL debut. <laughs> Old Man River, indeed. Crowd is rocking. And enjoying things at ground level as the crowd rocks along. Good afternoon, Drew Banfield. Good afternoon, Clint. Yes, look, something unusual happened. The actual West Coast Eagles supporters cheered as St Kilda entered the area. <laughs> and uh, look, I'm in appreciation, I guess, to see a champion like Robert Harvey reach his 350th today. Ground conditions, strong breeze to the left of screen. Slightly muddy in the middle of the ground, but should be great for a good hit out today. Drew, did you ever have the uh, pleasure of tagging Robert Harvey? I did. I think I helped him to the, both the 97 and 98 <laughs> ground low medals. So you, you're far too modest. Thank you, Drew. Look forward to you. your thoughts. He's been a teammate or an opponent of nearly one-fifth of all players in VFL, AFL history. That says something for his longevity in the game, and who knows, he may get another season to play. Our umpires are Matthew Head, Craig Henry and Darren Goldspeak. They're wide for sound. And she's a pretty impressive uh, centre square combinations. Uh, Del Sano, Ball, Lenny Hayes and Kaczynski in there for the Saints. And of course you've got Daniel Kerr. You've got uh, the big man Cox, Stengline who you would expect run with maybe uh, Lenny Hayes. And I think uh, Solwood is the other one in the middle. Sunday football Siniaco Oval in Perth. Enjoy it. Eagles running to the right with Cox, Kaczynski, Luke Ball and the Saints heading to the left. Selwood crashing into Brent Voss early who gives away a free. No advantage. It will come back. Yeah, it looks like Adam Selwood's going to run with Nick Del Sano. But uh, Ball and Daniel Kerr. Now there is a combination. Uh, Ball has been doing some run with rolls in recent times. This will be a challenge for him. Kerr just 17 possessions in the match before the break against the Eagles. Only uh, against Essendon. Only three kicks. Hunter working it to Staker who drives it towards Stengline. Over the top, Blake affects the spoil. Rosa tried to hack it out of midair. Blake, the good pick up, the handball to Hudgston. Montagna's been getting a stack of the footy this year. That kick ricochets into Prittis and over for a boundary throw in. Well, early initiative to West Coast here. They're just running off that half back line. Adam Hunter, he screamed for it and uh, got virtually the first inside 50 out on that outer wing. Boundary throw in half forward for the Eagles. Here's Kaczynski being brought down by Braun. Prittis smothered the kick, was Harvey. Free kick for a hold. Umpire Goldspink right there going the Saints way, Montagna. It looks like uh, Justin Kaczynski has been told push forward at all times. Adam Hunter's just covering for him this time, but uh, both Ruckman now look as if they're going to try and get inside their forward 50s. Voss playing in front as from behind. Brett Jones helping spoil it out of bounds. Nick Rewald appears to be uh, going to start deep as we have a look at the bench for the Saints. A mixture of run and, of course, uh, the Ruckman. Thompson can come on and lock down on somebody if need be. Scramble. Montagna told to knock it out. Ricochets out wide. Rosa diving on it. Here's Harvey. Now Blake. Back for Harvey. Saints have got a problem in defence. They've got Seabee with uh, Clark. Graham now to Harvey. Unsure here. Graham. Dinky little kick out wide, awkward bounce, pressure is on, Sam Fisher, Eagles conjure possession and Braun will finish it. Eagles get the start. 
and the 40,000 go up at Subiaco. Well, it's just good numbers by West Coast. I mean, Robert Harvey had a, a chain of handballs there and uh, multiple positions, but uh, there was nothing up forward that was presenting, and that was because of the, the lockdown tactics by West Coast, and uh, obviously the kick came across Shock a turnover, it. and uh, Michael Braun latched onto it. So good pressure early by West Coast, uh, just plugging the holes and uh, playing tight man-on-man -man footy. Yeah, it was one against the uh, flow, really. The Saints have had plenty of football, but just gave it away. So Michael Braun providing the game's opening goal after the Saints had got their hands on it plenty of times early. Already 13 possessions to five. But they were going backwards on that occasion as Cox gets it down to Kerr. Quick little kick will roll to centre-half forward. Overrun yeah. by Lee Fisher. Rowan Jones, the late call-up for Judd, kicks the Eagles towards full forward. CB there, Braun. Was he caught high? He was. And Raph Clark was a poor effort at tackle. I mean, this is a desperate circumstance for them. They need uh, a better effort than that, just an arm tackle. They had to get the body in behind it. Also, not a good effort by uh, Graham, sorry, uh, by Fisher, Lee Fisher. So a number of mistakes. They'll be pretty tight early, given that there's so much riding on this. And uh, the Eagles have got an opportunity to post an early score here, Jacko. Well, that's the important thing. I mean, St Kilda built so much in the pre-game to make sure they get off to a good start. The conditions are good, and uh, West Coast are full of runs. So shot out the gun out here a bit here, West Coast. Braun's kick out to the right for a behind. The Eagles have lost just one of their past 59 matches here to Victorian teams. It is a wonderful home ground advantage. The Saints haven't beaten the Eagles here since the 1998 season. Since that time, yeah. four visits for defeats. There's a careless kick, very sloppy, stolen by Wirapunda. And he misses as it just missed to the well, right-hand side. Worrying signs there for St Kilda. They just want to just settle there. I mean, uh, didn't have to uh, kick across his body there, but didn't have to play on. And just wait till there's a better option no, up a, forward. Oh, Pretty average call cool by the There's another by the way, but... poor kick by the Saints coming out of the back half. And Braun says to Wirapunda, you can have another go. This is a very sloppy start by the Saints. Drew Banfield, let's check in with you. Yeah, look, unusual move there with um, Baker on Wirapunda. Uh, I thought Baker might have got a midfield role, but uh, obviously the dangerous Wirapunda has got, got him. And he's got the footy at right half forward now, having kicked 15 goals this season, just 40 touches in the last month of football. We're a punder as he makes the switch from forward to back and forward again. This would be a real shot for his confidence early. And to give the Eagles a flying start for a 14 point lead early. It's across the face. Well, Jerry, this is a worrying sign for West Coast. Even though they're dominating, they're just not putting the pressure on the scoreboard. Four inside 50s, and uh, they just need to obviously capitalise their good work. So right now, Jacko, both groups of supporters should be worried. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles can't kick goals, and the Saints can't kick. The Saints remember their last four games. Oh, six, gross. six, nine and eight goals, as that one has gone out of bounds on the full. This is bordering on disastrous. Well, they do say, Clint, the mid-season break and can, uh, you know, make you do silly things. Britta sends it back for Staker. I reckon uh, we get the stat up, Clint, and it would have been... There'd be six or seven horrible clangers by the Saints at the moment. They should like, thank their lucky stars. They're just nine points adrift. Hunter, we've got 36 players within 70 metres of the Eagle goal. Everyone on the field. Cox goes long to the hot spot. Crummer's required. Lee Fisher puts his hands on the footy. So does CB. We'll get a bounce. It looks like it's going to be an athletic event uh, today for Darren Glass. All-Australian backman last year. And he's going to be doing 100-metre sprints up and down the ground. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they played a number of uh, paddock scenarios with Rewald running onto it. Cox. Theatrical with that attempt. That's better. Gives Hearn a chance. He paddles it to Rowan Jones. He converts. And the Eagles have shot 15 points clear early. Well, it's just the big fella there, Dean Cox. He went down, he, uh, he, he, he plucked the ball out of the, out of the uh, contest there, or the, the bounce down, and uh, rushed it forward to Shannon Hearn. And uh, they made something from nothing there, West Coast, considering how many numbers congested in their deep 450. Uh, they'll be very happy with that result. And uh, on their way now, I mean, uh, five scoring shots and St Kilda haven't gone inside their forward 50. That'd be a worrying sign, because this year now going forward.
Well, the Saints are paying the price for uh, basically not having the ruckman out there. Kaczynski is taking the ruck role and then pushing forward when he can. He was at centre-half forward when Cox dominated that last contest. Rex in there now going against Cox. Kerr again gets boot to ball from the centre bounce towards half forward for Rowan Jones. There was a hold and Lee Fisher will take the free on half back and he's away quickly and Blake headed out wide and he's got the running man there. And Harvey gathers more possessions than anyone else in football history, Robert Harvey. More than 9,000 delivers to Stevie Milne. He's got Hearn alongside, and Milne, 60 metres out, goes in the revolt direction. He's caught behind Hunter, who got the first spoil. Revolt gathers it now from the boundary line, kicks wide, and Glass will be taken over for the Saints' first score. A rush behind. Magnificent coverage there by Adam Hunter. Revolt was off the uh, hook. Glass was going to be exposed, but Hunter covered beautifully. But Del this Santo is does beautifully, Jared. He got it to Kaczynski. Very clever, Del Santo. He shepherded it off to ensure that they got the free kick. The ball not touched on the kickback into play, and Cozzy should get the goal. Well, that must be a tactic by uh, St Kilda. Every chance they get in there, rush it into their forward 50, because you've got the two big blokes up there. And I mean, uh, Del Santo, good smart footy there. Didn't wait for the umpire or for the direct opponent to come over the mark. Just kicked it, saw Cozzy there in the top of the square, and uh, this should be a goal for the Saints. And it is a steadier for the Saints. They get there first. Well, they needed it, and uh, it's working if they can continue to do this. Kaziski into the ruck, then he goes forward and becomes a target. That's when he's played his best football. In fact, he played football like Field played before him uh, last year when he was in that particular role. It was only a four or five week spell, but uh, he has been building and going particularly well, going better than uh, the Saints certainly have. And this is a good start by the two Ruckman. Cox has been involved in one of their goals, and uh, Kaczynski just slamming that one through. So Kaczynski to go against Cox, with the Saints trailing by eight points. Rosa playing a centre-half forward role, being picked up by Graham. Cox sends it out wide. Bounce important. Hearn and Montagna. Montagna shovels it out for, towards Hayes. Now Milne on the wing. Good quick hand pass for Del Santo. Okay. Intercepted by Waters. Returning to the Eagles team today. Element of risk about that centering ball comes off. Cox scoops it up, backs himself. He's been running four to five kilometres a day during the course of the week off as he gives to Hearn. Overrunning at Sam Fisher. Hayes the good pick up. The handball to Lee Fisher. This is Montagna now. Getting his hands on it early. Sending it out wide. Kaczynski in space. Marks can go. Alex to kick wide. Awkward one revolt. Check on his hammer. Backs it out of midair. And it's out of bounds on the full. Well, it looks like they're going to play a bit of Russian roulette. Uh, Kaczynski didn't run with Cox when he set up the thrust forward for the Eagles. He just charged onto that outer wing. And as you saw, he became the exit player. Could have actually bounced rather than continuing to kick the ball wide to Rewald. Here's Selwood in the back pocket for the West Coast team. Waiting. Well, dangerous. Kaczynski doubling back into the pack. Montagna, they had a three on two, the Saints. They win out. Montagna with his fifth possession for Del Santo in the middle. He's uh, had some important touches too. Back for Montagna. 75 from home. Pulls the kick nicely towards Harvey. And he takes the mark just a fraction beyond the 50 on the boundary. And this is how the game's changed in his time. He's playing on the uh, outer wing and he's now on the members half forward flank. And can still use the footy very well as he hits Brett Voss. Well, this is a good sign for St Kilda. They've only been inside their forward 50. This is their third entry. They've already gone their first entry that resulted in a goal. But uh, with the two big blokes up there, plenty of run. And as you mentioned before, Jared, Nick Del Santo's had some very important touches. Very effective. Real challenge for Matt Prittis today. He's He's uh, taken all before him in his games this year, but I suspect that this has been the first time he's been tagged. Montagna's on top at the moment. And Voss kick misses to the near side. So they are settling down after a somewhat errant start for Ross Lyon in his first season as St Kilda coach. Took over a team that had been to the finals for the past three years. Their hopes of returning to September, perhaps hinging on what happens here this afternoon as the Eagles work it out of defence. Still think that Seabit full forward up against Raf Clark looks uh, pretty dangerous. Particularly if they isolate him one-on-one. Which, on one. which they're trying to do. Braun loops the handball, but wide of Staker. On the wing, important ball right Great now. Game. 
Had to be Cox's free kick. Play on is called, Montagna long, Revolt assumes the front position and hangs onto it. And should go back for a set shot at goal. Well, this is what you spoke about, the Russian roulette, but uh, when you've got players that can take contested marks like that, virtually out of possession, when that ball came in flight, I was happy with Darren Glass's position there. I thought uh, customary punch from yep. uh, from the side, but uh, that's why this guy is a class player, to be able to come from the position that he did to mark that. His big goal-scoring rounds were in round three and four when he kicked four in each of those games, but he pushes this one to the right-hand side. Well, his away record isn't all that well as far as his yeah. scoreboard pressure and kicking goals, and today of the day, he needs to do it. A number of reasons why, but for, more for himself, and uh, if, he, if he does get onto a few, he'll go a long way in St Kilda winning this game. And the early trend, backing up what's been happening in recent weeks for the St Kilda. They've won the inside 50s in seven of their 11 matches, yet they're the lowest scoring team, not only this season, but as we mentioned in our pre-game coverage, on track to be the lowest scoring team since Fitzroy of 96, with just 74 points per game right now. They've had it inside 50 and kicked one goal three, as the Eagles work it forward through Chick towards Cox, had to go one-handed. Waters goes flying through. Harvey waits the handball in the path of Xavier Clark, who's got time to run onto it, and the Saints can go. Great sign there for the Saints. They're all hard at it, Ding, from, from their ruckman, Kaczynski, right through to the ground-level players. Can hang on to the footy without running anywhere. Crowd was getting edgy. Goes to Blake eventually, who couldn't hang on to it. Still just giving it back too often, the Saints, which is making their work rate go up. You saw a touch there for Mark Nikoski in his comeback game. Hurry kick forward by Hunter, taken by Hudson. Now Hayes, short to the wing. Gilbert for Sam Fisher. Can break a line here and drive it deep inside the forward 50. Alex to do so. And, well, Revolt was coming out, needed a bit more. Hearn the mark. He's been one of the uh, finds of the year so far as Hearn. Now whistle off ball, a blood rule. And coming off the ground, a chance to reset for the Saints. Sam Fisher coming off. One of the good signs for St Kilda is the, couple of, the last three times that West Coast have gone forward, it's been up and under. And you mentioned before, Jared, that the Saints could sign early. They were very hard in winning yeah. that contest in the half-back line. But, uh, I mean, the, the perception is that uh, the West Coast forward line has been a little bit unproductive of the last month. And uh, so far in the early signs, they're getting the numbers back. But uh, the most important thing, once you win possession, is you're hurting them down the other end. And uh, obviously with Rewalt and Kuzinski down there, that's what they're opting to do. But uh, just that first possession that they get, it has to hit a target if they're wanting to run on this big ground at Subi Oval. Stake has uh, taken Fiora down into the goal square. Braun the target, Hayes crashes into him, gives away a free. They'll be keen to get Sam Fisher back on the track. A ASAP, the Saints, having a terrific year. And Fisher and Raf Clark, they were exposed down deep in defence. Fisher having 60 possessions in his last two starts. This is Lynch marking on the wing. We're ticking up to the halfway mark of the opening term. Eagles leading by a goal. As Lynch drives it long inside the 50. Hunter Push floating it. forward. CB there takes the mark against Clark. Got rid of him and can have a shot from just on the 50. Well, having a third man up, Adam Hunter's doing a lot of work pushing forward, and uh, I guess he was a bit of an obstruction there to allow Seavey to take a, a, a good, strong contested mark there, but uh, Adam Hunter's the guy that's running forward, causing St Kilda a little, he a few headaches there. The big Q receives from Seavey, oh. thumps it long and very, very wide. Well, Seavey is going to be dangerous. I mean, I'm sure that uh, Raphael Clark is going to be able to defend it well against him but if he can do this get out in his own and generate some run not some hold some run then uh, it could neutralize it Luke Ball with the mark on half back here's Hudson down the center corridor trips the kick towards Voss Chick affects the spoil Hunter got by one and two Stenglein Chick Brett Jones now from the wing touch ball for Braun plays on quickly for Rosa Eagles look to build. Rosa kicking it very deep to the pocket. Cox coming out. Does he get a kind bounce? He makes it look all right. Punches it inboard. Spinning out of one was Mitch Morton, but not the second. He's caught for holding the ball. Just had to have a great awareness there. I mean, obviously, deep in the uh, in the forward line there, he would have realised it would St Kilda pressure. But he has a pickup of Dean Cox. The big bloke is <laughs> running out. Kaczynski shields the sun. From his eyes, not used to the sun. The Saints just their third day game for the season. As Kaczynski goes short for Lee Fisher. To the attacking side of the middle for Stephen Mill. Working for him now. Chance for Atta. 
Going without it, though, as Braun intercepts. Well, you can't uh, doubt their work rate at the moment, St Kilda, but their this clang account is too high. Lynch hurries a kick forward beyond the outstretched arms of Baker. Here's the nimble skills again, Glenn. The finish lets him down. Well, it's the finish for West Coast. That's six scoring shots on goal, two goals four. I mean, they dominated a lot of this uh, first quarter, and uh, they just got to put that scoreboard pressure on them. Some may argue that's why how they lay out Essingham a couple of weeks ago, back in the game. Sam Fisher back into the field of battle quickly after getting that wound attended to. Now Kaczynski on half back. Doesn't look good, uh, the Ricks Cox, Cox matchup. Cox just turned him around there too easily. Graham sends it wide. Free kick for a high one to Voss. Made the change, Jamie Graham now. He's just filling in that hole at the minute, waiting for. We'll see uh, Kaczynski or an opponent, but uh, he's moving into that back line. Voss, very important as this uh, third player, the, the hit-up player to take a mark. He's very good overhead, but he may be needed in defence before this quarter gets too much older. Good recovery by Gilbert. Hearn peeling off Mill. Now Lynch finding himself in the back half of the ground for Nikoski. Rosa waits, drifts it wide. This is Graham. This is where they're stalling now, West Coast. It's a big up and under kick and uh, two or, or two on one situation. So St Kilda are, are mounting their attack from here. Four on two for this passage of play. Sam Fisher in collaboration with Raf Clark. Now a short ball for Baker. Baker happy to go back for Lee Fisher. Who has been having tests with his hamstring. Will that be 15? It is. It's about seven. It's a Perth real estate, Jerry. It's very, <laughs> very, very valuable. <laughs> Here's Graham. Put an oil rig in that uh, area. You might even come up with some something else more valuable. Lynch knocked it away from Lee Fisher. Forces the turnover. They've got a vacant forward 50. Staker couldn't go long because he couldn't kick at 75. Well, he'll be pulling his hair out at the moment, Ross Lyon. One of the uh, fundamental aspects of playing the short chip kick game is that you can chip kick accurately. And right now, they are absolutely destroying themselves. They're working really hard. But uh, the Eagles are just preying on their mistakes. Well done by Quentin Lynch running in the back. Back with a the flight there. Just created the turnover and... Uh... An area of his game which has certainly worked on is just general play, not just come out and lead and take a mark and expect to kick the goal. Get involved in other parts of the game. And uh, well done, Quinton. You uh, worked uh, the area very well then. And Graham got lost between looking at the incoming football and his opponent, Michael Braun, missed both. And Braun nice makes kick. him pay. He gets his second and the Eagles their third. West Coast by 13 points as we work into time on of the opening two. Well, just important for St Kilda. Uh, the latter part of this quarter, they started to get some sort of dominance and uh, just need to hit their targets. Just their skill there is, is basically forced the scoreboard pressure of West Coast away. So uh, getting the ball is one thing, but uh, using it and using it decisively is very important for St Kilda. Big start for Michael Braun. With nine touches and two goals already. 3-4 playing 1-3. Ricks in the centre against Seavey. Andrew Thompson got it to Milne, intercepted by Hearn. Plenty of Saints jumpers there. Gilbert caught by Nikoski. This is Hayes hurrying a kick in the revolt direction. Awkward bounce, doubles back. Glass alongside, good duel. And Glass in tandem with Hunter, out wide for Braun, who runs it out for a boundary throw-in. He's having a big quarter, Michael Braun, coming up. Uh, he's had nine possessions, but uh, more importantly, he's been able to run forward and kicked two of West Coast three goals. Really impressed the way that Daniel Chick just pushed back. He was the extra man out there. He went hard defensively and uh, created a three-on-two situation, enabling the Eagles to clear. Jamie Graham's playing that ruck roving role around the ground until the centre bounce down. Thompson and Prittis with Harvey in pursuit as well. Has time to balance, gets onto the left, kicks it into the 50. Milne coming out, got to beat a couple. Puts the pressure on CB, who managed to get the handball away to Brett Jones. Surveys his options and then out of the corner of his eye, good peripheral vision found Hunter. Short ball for Morton. Ten clangers. 
according to our champion data figure for the Saints already in this turn. Too many for the opening 22 minutes. As Morton goes to the wing and at full stretch, the crowd will be happy with this. And that's the difference. The Eagles have uh, maintained possession of footy. They've got it out the centre wing. Fractured his ankle in round 14 of last year. Mark Nikoski missed the rest of the season, then dislocated his right shoulder back in February and making his return today as Braun takes a break after nine possessions. Kerr back on the ground. The Eagles working it towards half forward. Saints again getting back. Thompson hurrying the kick, but Rowan Jones will be intercepting it. And I guess that's clanger number 11, Gerald. Well, pressure's going to do that to you, but uh, when there's no pressure, there's no excuse. And the awkward bounce. Stake had lost it. Del Santo. Working it out for Graham. Now, has an option on short of the wing. Mother Mungrel. He makes him work. Voss. They arrived a day early, did the Saints, to acclimatise, get used to things. He isn't born fruit just yet. Revolt knocking it down. Brett Jones with the Eagles getting back. Glass pushed it in the path of where a punter who sends it out wide for Cox. Hunter's gone forward. He's now up against one man, Raph Clark. Blake did well not to give away the free. Baker gets one against where a punter. The advantage is paid. Harvey working his way to space. Good run, Revolt. The kick goes to him, and Harvey knows how to hit a target. That's hard work. That is really good running from Revolt. Now, Stenglein's filling the hole back, so Kaczynski had nowhere to lead. The kick will come back to Luke Ball. No one on the mark Davis, for him. Kaczynski. And he goes into the pocket for Rex. It's a good kick. Rex, though, will be on a tight angle for a man who's kicked just two goals in his career. Well, well they've got the height, uh, Jared, uh, St Kilda down there, and using it to their advantage. But as you mentioned, Nick Rewalt, great, uh, great motor skills to run out yeah. there the way he is. Oh, just fantastic courage. I mean, he's busting a gut to get down there. Cox comes off the ground, and he's been replaced by Mark Lacroix. I guess one of the questions you've got to ask is, is this a better kick to maintain possession where it was probably more guaranteed that he'd mark it than going to the top of the goal square? 50-50. 50-50. Yep. Kaziski in pretty good form with a height advantage over Darren Glass. Right now I'll take your 50-50. Let's see if Ricks can surprise us. He has. Let's see. Let's see. What a great goal. Roll the dice. Just his third in AFL footy. And it was a beauty from Michael Ricks. Well, I was just going to mention to you, Clinton, before that uh, a lot of the players practice in that pocket. Uh, there's a Not the bit same of a swirling, a swirling breeze players, in that Jacko. corner. There's a lot of goals kicked in that pocket as opposed to this one over here. So it's just knowing your ground, that's all, Clinton. He's been very patient to get to AFL ranks. Michael Ricks, 26 years of age in his second senior season. His journey took him from Port Melbourne to Box Hill to the Hawthorne rookie list to Coburg. Now to St Kilda and Michael Rex with a wonderful goal. They're back within seven points. A terrible bounce in that relay turf area and it favours the Eagles. Stenglein towards half forward. Staker appealed for the free. Blake got the handball away. Jeez. Nearly pushed in the back. Lacroix, the umpire, said play on. Thompson about to be collared. As he dragged it in, that will be the question. He did not. So Jamie Graham, he's now full back for the Eagles with Kaczynski in the goal square. He's done the job on Rewald and Kaczynski before, Jacko, for yeah, memory? Uh, last year he did a very, very good job on either of them, uh, alternating with uh, Adam Hunter. Prittis trying to emerge, going nowhere fast as Xavier Clark wraps him up. So he's had rotating players for the Eagles through the goal square. Now the big cue sticks down there with Max Hudson. Hunter was there five minutes ago. He's pushed up to the centre-half forward area, just floating off the back of this pack. Stenglein fending off Montagna, but it freed up Luke Ball to take the footy. Morton trying to intercept. Quick hands for Prittis, and in turn, Rowan Jones. Is it one too many? Morton's under pressure, did well against Graham. Feeds it out wide for Selwood. He goes to the 50 for Hunter. Good spoil, Sam Fisher. Neat pick up, Del Santo. He's looking dangerous. Tick over a minute to play. Saints work it to the outer wing. Milne and Hearn. Hearn read it well, didn't finish the job. And the slippery one, Stephen Milne away. And Hearn didn't want to let him go. It was a wonderful chase. Can Ricks keep it in? He's happy for the boundary line. They'll stop the clock with a minute to go. Well done, Shannon Hearn. Just uh, probably just overread the uh, the flight of it and didn't get a full fist on it. But uh, look at him straight back on it, put his head down. You know, Tackle was, or Shepard was coming his way. But uh, very good play. Seabee thumping it to the wing. Selwood overruns it. 
Milner's being creative early. He traps the ball in here and affects the bounce. I think they're wanting to get Adam Hunter more in, uh, in a key forward role today. And they've got the height down there with Glass and uh, Jamie Graham. But uh, just getting Adam Hunter being that player, it's pretty hard to match up. And uh, he's gone forward and kicked goals before. Highest possession winner in his uh, 350th game for the Saints is still Robert Harvey. Nine touches early. Luke Ball up and under kick. Did it go 15? Stenglein is claiming it and has paid the mark. Alex to play on. Kerr. Waters back for Kerr. Down to half a minute. Been relatively quiet, Kerr. Just the four possessions. Brett Jones. Saints keeping them under pressure. It's good to see. Near the boundary line and it's out. And Ross Lyon will be happy with the way they've played this time on period. Just a criticism there. I mean, it didn't have to play on. Sometimes in, 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 uh, in the whole of AFL football these days, teams, I guess the running game they want to get going, but if you don't need to play on, you play on yourself into trouble. And that's uh, what uh, Stingline did in that passage of play. Got to move it quickly here. Xavier Clark, time for a kick. Can they get a mark on the end of it? Kaczynski can! Yeah. And he beats the siren by two seconds. A very important shot at goal after the siren by Justin Kaczynski lining up for his second and this will give them a lot of momentum going into the quarter time address. Well we uh, mentioned at the top how important this bloke is to the Saints. He's been the missing link over the last couple of years uh, with his injury problems but he's just showing some signs of getting back to his best. It's allowed Rewild to play further up the ground and for them both to interchange but I reckon John Walsfold will be uh, pretty concerned about Nick Del Sano at the moment. And Kaczynski, after the siren, kicks a very important goal. Some spirit about the Saints today. And they've drawn to within a point at quarter time for Ross Lyon. He'd be thrilled, Ross Lyon, with the way they finished the quarter. They were uh, struggling early in the piece with nerves and poor kicking. But they're fought back home. 3-4 to 3-3. Three, three, our scoreline at quarter time. He had some important touches, in fact nine of them in his 350th game. Robert Harvey leading the way for the Saints in the opening term and they clawed their way back to within a point off Justin Kaczynski's after the siren goal. Their midfield coach Anthony Rock now with Drew Banfield. Mate, great finish to the quarter. Uh, what was the message to the players? Oh, look, early we were a bit jittery with the footy and the turnovers really cost us. Uh, they settled after that and I think it clawed our way back into the game. So we've just got to continue on that trend. They've been good around the clearances, so we just hopefully keep that up, Drew. Best of luck. Good on you, sir. And I think they looked a lot better when they had their three big men out on the ground. It looks like that's how they're going to start with Ricks in the ruck and uh, Kaczynski and Rewald up in that forward line. Second quarter coming up, West Coast 3-4, the Saints 3-3. Lenny Hayes with five touches in the opening term. The Saints with 11 more possessions than West Coast. Remember, West Coast averaged 75 more possessions per game than St Kilda. So the Saints winning that category. The inside 50 is just about even. And uh, the clearance is 7-6 the Eagles' way. The hitouts went St Kilda's way 7-6. Five of them to Michael Ricks, which was significant. And uh, he's going to be the starting ruckman, as you see, Kaczynski and Revolt in the forward line for the Saints. And a big shuffle going on here uh, in defence for the Eagles. Rob Harvey's gone to the centre-half forward area. Kurt, handballing to Prittis, kicking the Eagles inside 50. Knocked away by Staker, running onto it, Lacroix. The pressure provided by Hayes was good. Attard diving on it. You can hear Craig Henry, the umpire's call. We'll get another bounce. And Chicks manning up Xavier Clark off that half-back line. Yeah, Bo Waters has pushed over to... Rob Harvey. Harvey. It was really interesting just the way they all interchanged. Uh, drilled to a T. All going nowhere in a hurry. Try knock it out, boys. Try knock it out. The grey clouds roll in. Plenty of rain in Perth overnight and into this morning. And a chance of a shower later on today. As you see, Ball and Kerr really locking horns with one another. Selwood forcing the handball towards Cox. Plays for the free umpire, says play on. Hearns wrapped up by Milne. Good pressure, another bounce. An arm wrestle to start the second term. Yeah, and you could just tell, by the way, that uh, Adam Selwood had his arm on Nick Del Sano, that the coach had got up him at, uh, at quarter time and said, you're too loose. Adard has also gone, gone on to Braun because he's been getting plenty of it. Prentice brought down by Ball. It was a good tackle. Reflective of the Saints' intensity here. Montagna hurried as a kick out wide. Revolt pushed off it by Glass. 
Shows a clean pair of heels to the Saints star and Braun handballing to space. The Saints are going to intercept this. Montagna to the running man and look at that, Harvey to Milne. He wants to play on. He's dragged up nicely. Clark really working hard. It's Xavier Clark. He gets a kind bounce. Question of accuracy and Clark puts the Saints in front. Big start to the second half by the visitors. Good pressure by Saints and that out of wing to put the pressure on Michael Braun. Handballed over his head virtually straight to Robert Harvey and uh, ran it through. Um, good vision, I mean Milne, uh, much maligned, but uh, good vision by Milne. Oh, up terrific, Clark. terrific work from Milne. I mean, he's uh, chopped it up a couple of times, but I think a lot of St Kilda supporters are still wondering where Ross Lyon is going with their game plan. Well, I think that was on display there exactly what he would like to see more of. It looked good then. It finished beautifully. Clark with the goal. His opponent, Nikoski, spent the opening minute on the bench. Change has been made. Sting line onto Del Sano, possibly just for the bounce. Cox down to Kerr again. You can tell he is so often the target for the Eagles and their starting four. Braun's had a lot of it. Nikoski goes without it. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, it was a basketball like dribble. Try doing that in heavy traffic with an oval ball. It was terrific. Harvey going to ground. Shovels it out for Del Sando. That was a handball. Got it to Hayes. Hop to Harvey. Here they go again. Hayes punching it inside. Look at the run. Montagna to ball. Long kick to full forward. Hold is it. there a hold? There is. It's a safe free yeah. kick. In the goal mouth. It was umpire Goldspeak. He picked it early. He picked it early. So obviously he saw something there in the flight of the footy. And I guess it's good that you see the umpires concentrating on the contest early. But it's not this actual contest. It's one before on uh, Adam Hunter and, and Kozzi. And Kaczynski will be lining up for his third goal. Jeez, it's evident that the class that's out of this side that is normally hanging around the packs, Judd Cousins, Fletcher, is uh, being towed up at the present time. And Kaczynski kicks Trolley for his third. The Saints are on the march. They've kicked four unanswered goals. Well, it's a type of footy that uh, Rossi Lyon would be very, very happy with because it's frustrating West Coast uh, just general play. Denying them possession of the ball is the biggest thing on this over. But uh, their handball receives uh, is lowly ranked 15th in the competition in, in, uh, in the previous month. They're beating West Coast at the minute, and you have to do that on this ground. But as we saw in the background there, Adam Hunter, well done by Darren Goldsmith by picking it early. That's what you want, consistency from the umpires. In the absence of Fraser Gehrig today, we said in our pre-game coverage, either Revolt or Kaczynski had to stand up and kick a bag for the Saints. It might be Kaczynski's day with three already. The Eagles, though, going forward here, now trailing by 11 points. Rath Clark, cool there, giving it off to Baker. Now Xavier Clark, very acrobatic. Good hands. Selwood after the bounce goes on to Del Sano. He is uh, inside his jumper, but if possible, he's got to get closer. Ball on half back. Saints happy to be patient. Jacko, who are the West Coast looking to to ignite them at the moment? They're under siege at the present time. They need to find a goal from somewhere. Well, it's going to take some brilliance, obviously. They've got a lot of players that can do it, but Daniel Kerr just, he needs to, just needs to take the game. Uh, he's getting a lot of attention, but he's just going to be patient. And this bloke here, the big Q. He's a goal. Well, we caught him into it. I, I guess we played him into it. And that might be the best thing for Quentin Lynch. Rather than worrying about a set shot and his goal-kicking routine, get boot to ball quickly and get the Eagles first of the second quarter. Well, we saw that in the first quarter when he had that long launch from outside 50, but he needed to kick that goal. I think Max got about a 3.3 for that dive. <laughs> he missed the ball and allowed uh, the big Q stick to get out. Good work from the big man. And they've fought back well. mentioned before, the other bloke, Brent Stake, is just showing signs that he could tear a game apart. We saw in the first half against the Bombers. Had a little bit of an involvement in the early part, but needs to start taking consistent advance, just like the two big St Kilda blokes at the other end. He kicked three of their 14 in that one-point loss to Essendon at the Dome, as the Saints will win out eventually. Ricks to Montagna to Harvey. Bad fumble by Rosa. Harvey with 13 possessions. Why won't he play next year? 
Baker for Montagna again, having a career best year by way of numbers, and Reval has taken it. 55 out. Good numbers back. Well, Punda has pushed back out, blocking the space. Distance will test him. Some protection from the three-tiered stand goes to Kaczynski in the square, and he's going to line up goal number four. Well, they got the ball in real quickly there. I mean, those two, uh, their, their teaming or understanding of each other. I mentioned before that where Punda was getting back down there, but he, he's just a small. I mean, Kaczynski, he's just a man mountain down there with a lot of confidence, and they're lining up on his fourth goal. I see Kilda can hold their structures here, Jared, with these two blokes. Uh, it's going to go a long way with them winning this game today. Kaczynski kicks his fourth, and the Saints are out by 11 points. He had kicked just 10 goals for the season coming in and had played in all 11 matches. Well, I think they're making the move. Uh, Jamie Graham is peering down there, but because he's now going into the ruck, so... Uh, I mean, it's good coaching there because uh, while he's dangerous, keep him in the forward line, but get him into the game by going to the centre of the ground. But uh, you said Jamie the Graham, structure. Yep. Well, they've pushed Ricks down there, which is doing uh, what you're saying. That's it. So Kaczynski with four. Do you like him going into the ruck now and spelling Ricks who goes forward? I think it's a good idea. I think just keep doing what you're doing. If St Kilda, they're rotating him through. He's very... Oh, cop that. Oh. Because that's what happens when you go against Cox. Yeah, I mean, he's a ruckman, though. And I think uh, whilst he can play forward, he's a ruckman that goes forward rather than a forward that plays in the ruck. Kicks it out wide for Mill. The Saints with five of the last six goals in the match as they fight to keep their finals hopes alive. Lose today, their three games and percentage out with 10 to go. Let's keep it simple, should Stephen Mill. He goes to Harvey. That's usually a pretty good answer, because Harves can do it all. Oh. And still turning on a show. The kick doesn't reach Del Santo as Graham doubles back. They well, deserve better. You, just, you love watching him, don't you? Adam Selwood has just joined a club with about 3,000 <laughs> people in. Those that have been bought, balked around by Robert Harvey. He can make time seemingly stand still. As Hunter has Waters on the wing. Crowd getting restless. They know they're in for a contest today. The Eagles have blown away their six opponents at home this year. Not today, not yet. Cox, though, going towards full forward for the leading Lynch. Hutched in with the spoil. Fisher the gather. Goes to the centre corridor where Montagna and Raf Clark await. And it's the latter who takes it. Handball's wide of a slipping staker to feed Montagna. And he had to go wide. He actually looked up the middle of the ground, but there was no one there. Now Fisher's pushed down, which is good running. Montagna's had it 14 times. Great challenge here for the Eagles. They're the premiers. They're the best side in the competition. And it, uh, with the injuries, they're going to really be tested. Montagna now the game leading ball winner. Although this man's oh, going to take effort. the mantle back off him. 15 apiece for those two. Harvey's kick partially smothered by Hunter. Revolt, good pressure by Glass. And Harvey gives away his first free kick of the year as he gets in the back of Hunter. Of the he, year. Of the year, Jared. He's one of the, he knows all the tricks and the umpires like him as well. But well, he had to pay that one against him. They chopped up an opportunity there. They've got him on the ropes here, the Saints. That Harvey kick was intercepted. The Rewell probably should have just tapped it back to Harvey rather than taking possession. Here's Graham. Alex to go out wide. Lee Fisher caught behind Rowan Jones. He's happy to... Well, go back to Graham. It's a clanger for sure. Milne. It's an open 50. Revolt. Milne should run in. Should go. Hey, folks, the Saints are away here. And Stephen Milne, who had kicked just one goal in his last month of footy, going forward and boy they're on the march in fact it was bacon, bacon. sitting on the garden path jerry excuse me Clinton. i was well, just bacon testing came just, from nowhere just testing you you obviously got a little bit of jet lag <laughs> well it's a good test for west coast because you mentioned before about the test just notice a little bit of untidiness by west coast a couple of times over committed the mark yeah. and uh, that kick across goal there dangerous saints are on we were expecting it was Milne to go forward, but it was Baker, Jared, who kicked the goal yep. for the Saints to give them a 17-point lead. Just testing you, Clinton. Oh. Rob Harvey gave away a free kick. He might have got <laughs> one wrong. Harvey off the ground, by the way. Quick hands by Selwood. Jones, Brett, pushed off it. Del Santo pushed in the back. 
Six of the last seven goals. And loose man floating forward. Adhard from 60 going in the path of Revolt at full stretch. Glass gets rid of him with a push in the side. And then sends it out for a throw in. He's got similar mannerisms, Nick Revolt, to Robert Harvey. He's continually got his hands on his chest, heavy breathing, and then he goes and runs <laughs> another 100 metres in even time. Lulls the opposition into the false sense of security as Cox wins a free against Ricks. Well, we talk about leaders. There's a couple out there with big reputations, and rightly so. They're champion players in, I guess, youngish careers. But Cox and Kerr are two that they'll be really looking forward to uh, give them their absolute best over the next hour. Lynch and Hudson who affects the spoil. Pazitsky with the little hand pass. Stengline the pick up. Now Graham for West Coast. Driving it to Hunter and Sam Fisher got in his back. Yeah, it was there for all to see. So it must be frustrating for those that it's penalised, but it's there. It's more of a forearm, I think, the, the right forearm. Gee. Can't be a free kick, Jared. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, <laughs> make an assessment on that vision, but from here it looked like a push. You heard the call from Matthew Head. Yes, he died, but you had the hand there as Hunter misses to the near side. These are the most difficult games for players uh, and coaches. I mean, clearly St Kilda are on a roll here, Jacko. Yeah. Trying to reverse that. You've got some of your key playmakers out, but trying to reverse that momentum is one of the toughest things in footy. Especially when you've got a Saints side that's a bit depleted in recent weeks and uh, had some bad losses. Come over here and uh, nothing really to lose. I mean, just play their game. And that's what they're doing. They're just playing on instincts, rolling the dice, running forward. And the two power forwards up that are delivering at the minute. And West Coast haven't got it at their end. Enjoying getting the run back from half back from the likes of Graham. Ooh. And Revolt crashing into waters there. Both kept their footing. Revolt the tackle on Kerr for a bounce. Well, that test today, shoulder, I think, has been. Yep. Tested and failed a couple yeah, of times. times. Looked all right there as he makes his way with Darren Glass alongside. The All-Australian fullback of last year as the Eagles procure possession with Rosa. Happy to send it wide. Morton the target, Graham chasing. Morton, creative enough. Graham did well, didn't go to ground and wins Trouble. the free. That's, that's probably just a learning area that uh, Mitch Warren's got to get better. He wanted to take the player on, he handballed the ball, but the thing that he did was he went to ground. You can't afford to do that. Should Rosa have gone out there or should he have the I think corridor? Sh I think Rosa should have hit the, hit the target. Kaczynski again! He's crunched his great mate. Revolt talent and a <laughs> little bit sore. And Kaczynski will be lining up for his fifth first half goal. Oh, this is a big problem for West Coast. This this guy's causing him an enormous amount of problems, but I think sometimes they're not doing themselves uh, any favours. I mean, Rosa, we debated there, Jared, whether he should have gone down the corridor or went out of Mitch Morton. I felt he should have hit Mitch Morton, he could have, and uh, takes the pressure off him. The Premier defender is Glass. He's got the big job on Rewell, but is it time that they switched? It's a good question. Might have more case for the affirmative if Kaczynski can convert number five, and he cannot. Yeah, I think they're going to make the switch. The problem they've got with the switch is that uh, all of a sudden he goes into the ruck. That's where they're, I guess, caught between the rock and the hard place because if Glass goes there, he'll go into the ruck. Rose to the fly, coming through Chick. All the gate stuff. Critters brought down by Thompson. That's it's a... holding the ball. It will come back. Gee, I'll tell you what happens when Andrew Thompson run that fast in uh, probably the best part of 24 months. <laughs> You'd be pleased with that. Back fresh after a spell. 34 years young, running down a oh. man there of 12 years his junior. They might muck it up, no, should have time with Hudson. Centering ball has to get to Graham and does. Once again, the springboard for attack. He goes long to Revolt coming out, got the first grab. Ricks bringing down Cox, play on the call. Fiora dragged out of it. We're a punder with a risky handball. Brett Jones running onto it in the back pocket. Back for we're a punder. Now Chick has to go short. Is it 15? Yes. And once again, we saw Graham coming off that half back line. I think we're seeing more long kicks into the St Kilda forward line. To Kaczynski, to Rewald. And nothing wrong with that. I haven't seen them for a couple of weeks. And, uh, they're getting the dividends. 
Rosa with a long kick. Sam Fisher to try and spoil and does so effectively. Got it down to Thompson. Back for Fisher. Kicks towards Revolt. We're a punder. Knocked it away on that occasion, helping out Glass. The self-proclaimed janitor there, cleaning up in the Eagle defence and feeding waters. Close to 40,000 on hand. A little subdued right now because Justin Kaczynski and the Saints are standing up to the Eagles. He's causing a lot of problems around the ground. He's giving Coxie there one, just a bit of lip, but just to basically tell him, I'm on top, mate. Taken eight marks already, has Kaczynski. Here's Baker, 55 out, thumping it long to the goal square, and Chick can't touch it in time. Baker's got his second. And the Saints have unloaded a five goal to one second quarter. And the lowest scoring team in the AFL crossed the half century mark before half time. What's quite amazing is that they're actually kicking into the wind. Now it's clearly having no uh, disadvantage, but uh, we'll show you the flags later on after we have a look at how close this was. Great decision by the goal umpire. But the Saints are on fire. They're kicking the ball long and they're getting the dividends from some of the good work off that half back line. 8-4 to 4-5, the Saints on the back of Stephen Baker's second. To marry up with four to Kaczynski, one each to Ricks and Xavier Clark. And they're shocking the football world right now. Cox the hit out, Harvey the gather. Straight down the centre corridor where a punter drops it. He dropped his head too, he won't be uh, keen to see the review of that. And Baker puts the pressure on him, forces a wide kick. And it's helped over there by Sam Gilbert for a throw-in on the Saints 50. Well, let's take a look at the flags, Jacko. Uh, the wind is actually favouring the way... Left the screen, yeah, the way the Eagles, the Eagles are, going. are going. It does circle around on this oval, so they're kicking a lot of the goals on this uh, on this three-tier end. Oh, Rick's brilliant ruck work straight to Luke Ball. Glass charging glass. out, had to win position and did. But Cox has brought down, it was Ricks with the tackle. Revolt, the hurry, kick it, goal. And the everywhere man today is Justin Kaczynski. There is mark number eight. Well, that's the message, just get it in there real quick, because one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, he's red hot at the minute, but uh, he's playing in front, and that's the thing, with the big body that he is, and obviously with the rule interpretation the way it is, he's going to mark it or get a free kick every time. He opens it up, still from a very acute angle. Oh, the goal umpire thought about it for a long time. He was celebrating. What's been dangerous is he, that he's actually taken most of his marks about five metres out from goal. So, I mean, that was a shot that he should have converted. But uh, he's getting them in a very potent area. There have been nine contested marks for the game. He has four of them. It's a four-goal lead. Graham on the outer wing. Oh, now Lynch. The runner just went out to Wirra, Jacko. Yep. Mine, 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 mine. Would have just been asking for a stronger effort. CB Won't help as he battles to keep his place in the team. There's Hunter and Fisher in the Eagles' goal square. Still not out of this, I mean, the Eagles. I mean, they can rattle on two or three quick goals, but they've got to get a spark from somewhere. This is a certainty because this is where they practice, according to Jacko. Eagles' rookie of the year back in 2004 drifts across the face, and the Saints help it out of bounds for a throw-in. Well, he made the distance, yeah. but uh, pushed it out to the left. Top of the square, probably a good uh, option there. I mean, Mark Seby kicks a lot of his goals inside 30. Eagles deep in attack. Hearn, kick smothered by Thompson. He's doing the one percenters today. Graham with no chance to get rid of it. Ball spilt free in the tackle. Good hands to Blake. Now Harvey again. Finding plenty of it. Harvey and Montagna. CB, good chase from the big man. And the change has been made. You'll see Graham in front of Rewald. And Glass has gone on to Kaczynski. Now Graham works it to Nikoski in the middle. Brett Jones. Need, need some run off this half back line. This man may be the man to provide it in Nikoski. Long to full forward. Saints with a three on two. Blake can't mark. Hunter can swing it onto the right, or he gives it off to Seabee. 
He wants to give it back to Hunter. Taking too long, Sam Fisher with a great smutter and sends it out wide for Montagna. Well, decision-making there, that's what's costing West Coast. Adam Hunter should have taken a shot on goal. Handball to a guy that was on his right side. Right side, he hasn't got a right side, and they stuffed it up there, West Coast. Now Del Santo, and we know what a classy user of the football he is. Fiora provides the shepherd as Del Santo spears it into Revolt, who takes the mark. Now it will be interesting to see whether or not he has a shot at goal. A behind and one out of bounds, his return today. This one certainly gettable. Left half forward, he'll kick from 45. It's a big kick. If he gets it, it's a five-goal lead. Won't be a score. Ricks and Kaczynski lurking. Milne waiting down. Waters wearing him well and wins possession. Cox for Nikoski, look out. Harvey closing. Chick gets the kick away. Lee Fisher crashing into Rose. A good work for Yora wins a free. Is it going to be advantage? No, Thompson will say, let's take the free. Because he's got some men in the middle. He hasn't seen any of them. There's yeah. three there. And he goes towards Xavier Clark, who didn't have a chance. Well read Stenglein. Montagna got his arms in the air, just asking him to look inside. 8-5 plays 4-5 after the Eagles led three goals to one. Got to drag one back, even if they slow the ball down and oh. prevent the plight the Saints from having the footy. Moment of anxiety for Eagle fans as the glass kick to Stengline took seemingly an eternity to arrive. They get out of danger, Waters, Cox. Some hesitancy about the Eagles game that we so rarely see. That's because there's nothing presenting up above. And look, I mean, look at that contest kick. there. Just man on man. Looked like a free kick, Jack. I mean, the umpires have got to play it both ways. He was wrapped up there. Six free kicks to 11. The local fans not happy with the lopsided counters. Montagna goes wide. Revolt crashes the pack. Mm. We'll get a boundary throw in. Great effort by Chick. Back, back. Let's have a look at uh, Fisher, the wrap up. Uh, let him play footy. Spoken like a true backman. <laughs> Throw in, half forward the Saints, CB and Ricks, waiting down Prittis, Harvey, knows where to go, Del Santo from 55, kicking to the pocket, Glass getting back, trapped at well. Well, for a Glass player, that was not Nick's finest kick, there was a goal in the making there. Inside 50s for the quarter, a 2-1 count, 14-7 the Saints way, and there's a sign of the Eagles fumbles today, as Adam Silward. Sends it over for a boundary throw in. The Saints with a five goal to one second quarter. And in many respects, Jacko, the best thing that can happen for the Eagles is A, get a goal or two, or B, just get this siren underway and uh, get into the rooms Think about and it. reset yep. the head. The Saints had won just four of their last 17 quarters before this second term that they have dominated. Well, they're just stagnant up forward, uh, West Coast. Saw the chain of handballs on the centre wing here. West Coast moving forward sideways and backwards because there was no movement or activeness up forward and uh, so he's just stationary players. Brent Staker needs to get into the game. Montagna having a feast online for a career day. Possession 19 is a kick from 50 that goes deep to the square and Milne is free kicked virtually in the goal square. A certain goal coming up. Front on contact, says Matthew oh, Head. Oh, Milne plays on and kicks the goal. Hey, hey Sardano, don't be aggressive. I'll talk to you properly. Daniel Check runs away. His words fall on, on deaf ears okay, okay, as front the on. Saints streak five oh, goals clear. You did. You made contact with him. You be the judge. Ooh. Uh, it's incensed the uh, locals, that one. And uh, absolutely yeah, incensed look. Daniel Cheek. But I've got to say, Stephen Milne is unpredictable. Daniel Cheek continues to fume about this. I think the other thing is his eyes firmly on the opponent. He has no eyes or any thought of where the football is. And that can work against it. Was slight content. Didn't look a lot in it, but uh, paid it. Want him to be consistent, that's all, Jared. 
This is a stunning story unfolding as CB gives away the free to Ricks. And now Ball, the Saints by five goals, pressing again as Voss leads wide. Waters in pursuit, goes to ground. Voss did not, delivers to Revolt. Oh, kick. They are as looking as good right now as any team has looked this year. Well, they're getting the ball coming in, and Nick Rewald spending a lot of time inside the Ford 50. I can't see him, I haven't, can't remember him taking too many up on the wing. They're looking extremely dangerous because their midfield's well on top. He's yet to convert. Will this be the moment? Revolt from near the boundary line. Does not come back enough. Well, momentum's everything. St Kilda's got it, but uh, simple instruction, simple game plan. Get hold of the footy, kick it long to uh, two to key forwards who are uh, dominating at the minute. Yep. It's been a 46 point turnaround after they trailed by 15 early. Looking to end a four game losing run, the Saints, to try and quarter within two games of the top eight. The Eagles having no luck bringing it out of their back half. Well, they're just enjoying this St. Kilda. They're playing it in their, in their half. West Coast, every time they come out of the back line, there's Bo Waters. It's his second time he's come out of the back line and he's turned the ball over. Hasn't hit a target. Puts him under enormous pressure. Ricks gets rid of CB illegally. Final two minutes of the first half. CB's low kick, almost intercepted by Sam Fisher. Can Hayes get it out? He can. And both McCoskey and Kerr all putting the pressure on and winning a free as Ball dragged it in. Well, Daniel Kerr, this is his eighth possession. He's, uh, he's certainly working hard, but he's just not getting amongst it. He's not getting, I guess, allowed to be amongst it. But uh, they'll be looking forward to that halftime break, Jared, because uh, just go back to their structures and they've got a game on their hands. I'm not sure the umpires will be looking forward to the halftime break. No. <laughs> they, they get the put, uh, protective plastic covering coming out uh, over their race at this ground, and they will need it here today. There'll be two noises that everyone will be able to hear across Australia. There'll be, <laughs> on one side of the country, everybody cheering because yeah. the Saints are uh, on fire, loose to kill the supporters. And uh, here, I think the umpires might get the message. From Albany to Kalgoorlie and Karratha to Port Hedland and everywhere in between. Eagles getting the hit outs this quarter, but the Saints are taking it away. Good Boss. stuff, I and mean, that's where yep. it's got to start from uh, acts like Braun's tackle and checks, maybe in the back that one. Gee, that was good footy, it was tough. Final minute, first half. Goal either way would be pivotal, oh. and Kerr runs into a brick wall and is pinged, Jesus. holding the ball advantage. The tackling from behind from St Kilda has uh, been a great feature. Hayes goes deep. Oh, Hearn, that was an awkward one, and it was read very well. Good protection, too, from Glass. He just protected Kaczynski from getting anywhere near that footy. Waters now from half back, 30 seconds to go. Geez, they're pushing hard backs, back hard to Oh, quarter. Graham's caught, did not dispose of it cleanly. Gilbert takes advantage from the 50, goes long, it straightens up, and he drops in another one. 13 seconds from half time, Sam Gilbert kicks them 37 points clear. Well, just having that awareness from behind, I mean, you mentioned it uh, before, but uh, St Kilda's pressure all around the ground. Just, uh, got a question, West Coast, some of their decision-making when they're going out. They look flat, they look heavy in the legs, and this uh, half-time couldn't come any quicker for them. It's the boy, Jacko. <laughs> it's the boy. It's the pecs of the boy. What a goal from the former rugby convert, the 20-year-old from Southport in Queensland, Sam Gilbert, 13 seconds from half-time. St Kilda with an extraordinary quarter of football, seven goals to one. Who says milestone matches don't count? They worked for Warren Treadray last week. A scramble, that'll be half-time. And the Saints fans haven't had it this good for a while. Half time, they lead by 37 points at a place where they haven't beaten the Eagles in 10 years. Well, just a sensational performance by St Kilda. Their season on the line, final esque type uh, performance. And they've been led by one bloke who we haven't seen much of in Justin Kaczynski. Sensational performance up forward. Another bloke that we've seen for just about the uh, best part of two decades. 18 possessions to Robert Harvey. Throwing a uh, really good work rate right around the ground. And the Saints will go off here knowing if they play good footy, they'll win. Whereas the Eagles will go off saying, gee, what was that? Plenty to talk about. Harvey with 
18 possessions to half time. Kaczynski with four goals. The Saints with 10. The men in green about to hear it from the Subiaco crowd. The Saints at half time, 10 6 66. Lead the Eagles 4 5 29. Grey skies for the West Coast as well as they get set to start this second half. Trailing by 37 points as we check in at ground level with Drew Banfield. Yeah, thanks, Clint. West Coast just really in an unusual position of going in behind there at half time. Look, the challenge, I believe, will be thrown up by John Worsfold to respond to what the Saints have been able to do in the first half and uh, especially trying to get a key midfielder to get uh, his hands on the ball in the first, first instance. Good on you, Drew. Thanks for that. Well, just important what Drew, Drew mentioned there. Um, key midfielder. Two blokes that uh, they'll be enjoying this, well, not enjoying the moment, but uh, Prentiss and Rosa need to get into the game. The Eagles on the verge of losing their fourth match in their past six starts. Not the sort of form line you would expect from a reigning Premier who began the year at 6-0. and zero. But I think it is the sort of form line that you can sort of understand given the quality of the player that is out of this side. I mean, it had to bite them eventually. We know the depth of their list is uh, superb. But you take uh, the best player that uh, has played the game, according to some, out of any side, they're going to come back. You take Cousins out, Fletcher's out, Hanson's out. There's a big hole in this side, and uh, right now it's being exploited because the guns of the Saints through the, around the footy and Montagna stepping up to try and uh, challenge for that sort of mantle are really taking it up to them. Let's see what happens here. Saints to the left, Eagles to the right. Umpire Goldspink with the footy. We're underway. And Ricks leaping early. Hearn in the starting four for the Eagles alongside of Montagna, who had it 19 times in the opening half. And this is a good challenge. Uh, Hearn wants to play midfield. His coach, I reckon, said to him, OK, prove it. Prittis, good dummy, got around Del Santo, drives it into half forward. On the re lead, Lacroix, who's been virtually unsighted. Sam Fisher gets barreled over illegally. Downfield free. Lee Fisher will take it. So the dynamic changes. Montagna has been running with players uh, throughout most of this season. Right now he's right off the leash with uh, the most possessions on the ground. He's got a tag Hearn, who can be dangerous also and is a goal kicker. Fisher to Hayes, who bottles the marking attempt and there will be a boundary throw in. Robert Harvey with the tracksuit jacket on alongside of Andrew Thompson. Boy, some experience there, isn't there? Try 500. And 68 games worth. Ricks gets rid of Cox illegally. At the other end of the ground, Glass has the job on Kaczynski. Hunter is next to Revolt. Well, possession's just too hard to win to be giving it away with uh, silly free kicks like that from Ricks. Hearn wants it. Cox gives it to him. Eventually, Hearn drops it. He's caught by Del Santo, and that's a throw. Just a bit telegraphed there. When the, the uh, principal's right, get it to Hearn. He's a massive kick. Kicks at 70. Yeah. But a uh, good decision from the umpire as well. Del Santo's kick sits up and it's intercepted from Sam Fisher by Staker, who plays on. He's tackled. Prittis now. Montagna hovering over him. And he's pinged for holding the ball. Montagna the free. Making a lot of unusual mistakes here, the Eagles, in their desperation to get it forward. Yeah. The other end of the ground, Glass and Kaczynski. And Harvey on in. Just 90 seconds, Selwood, his opponent. Montagna goes to a contest on the wing. In the end, no one wins out cleanly. Kerr eventually intercepted by Attard for Ball, for Milne, for Del Santo. Running down the middle, long to a one-on-one. -on -one. Kaczynski and Glass, it might bounce all the way. What a start for St Kilda. <laughs> Well, they want to get goals out of the midfield. And they got a very favourable bounce there as Nick Del Santo extends the lead. Just the pressure, though. I'm not sure uh, who was it. Number 13, it was Brett Voss coming, charging in. He put the pressure on Daniel Kerr. So the commitment to the tackle to the loose footy has been uh, superb by the Saints. And that's, I guess, indicative of how it's travelling for the Eagles at the moment. Nick Del Santo's ball rolls through from 70. Goal from inside the centre square. Don't think that won't get a run from Nick Del Santo at Moorabbin this week. 43 points the margin. 
Ricks and Cox again in the middle. Del Santo head over it, shovels the handball wide. Nikoski wrapped up by Hayes and will do it again. So the forward structure you've spoken a fair bit about, uh, Jack Ophis and Kilda, appears to be working pretty well. Voss is basically the centre-half forward nomination. And uh, Rewald and Kaczynski are just playing deep. Rewald pushing up if need be. Ball held in by Brett Jones on Xavier Clark. But essentially, they're just playing two men inside their forward 50 and everybody else just pushes up the ground. Well, why wouldn't you? Look how open it is for them. And uh, your two blokes are, are on song at the minute. They just ooze respect and command the football every time it comes their way. So I guess the question is what happens when Fraser Gehrig returns in a week or two's time? A point to be discussed later as Prittis is away. Driving it deep to full forward. Lacroix caught out. Clark had it knocked away. Waters leading in the race for it. Has room on the left on the boundary. Kick right across the face. Boundary throwing. That's just the thing with West Coast. There's just so, much, so many numbers down there that... I mean, St Kilda are, are, are blocking all the holes, but uh, their shots are wide on goal. I mean, Bo Waters didn't realise how much time he got. Just their sense or their awareness, what's around, is uh, not there at the minute. Cox down to Lacroix. Touched ball, won't travel 15 regardless. Off Selwood's shoulder, it ricochets to Rowan Jones, Lee Fisher under pressure. Paddling it for Ricks, diving on it Waters, but he got in the back of Ricks. No, it's definitely there. Good decision from the umpire. Saints run it out. Ball to Del Santo. Harvey working hard. The running man again. Delivering to Revolt on a long lead. A most impressive display this by St Kilda as Revolt goes to Graham. Graham goes short. Kaczynski having to work. Oh, shit. Very sloppy West Coast as we check the free at the other end of the ground. Waters getting in the back of Bricks. His argument was after that that he actually got his hands on the football. But <laughs> not good enough. Hayes. Harvey. Wrapped up by Rosa. We'll get a bounce. Lenny Hayes, he's working hard. He's... He's finding it difficult to find the footy. He's in the clinches, but uh, he's the one that they really are trying to lock down hard on. Starting just to get his hands uh, accumulating, or hands on it, accumulating 12. Voss, Montagna, Del Santo. Kicking long from 60. He surely couldn't do it again, could he? Eagles get there just in time. Stingline the spoil from behind. 11-7 to four goals, five after West Coast. If you joined us late, led this match three goals to one. Selwood feeds it off for Chick. Now Hunter. Oh. Didn't gather it. Del Santo with two to beat and wins a free kick. Indicative of their commitment today. Well, they're just second of the ball, West Coast, in, in all facets here. And uh, just their body language in the minute, is just... Oh said that the break couldn't come any long enough. I don't think the break was long enough for him. Graham to Voss. Good kick. He could kick it from here. Thanks, Three kicks for the quarter. Chicken. Saints first to the footy. Five to one. Nice bit of by play off the ball to Clinton. Big Cox and uh, Ricks. They're just having a bit of a wrestle up and He's down the it. ground. He's on it. The heavyweight He's on wrestle. It. Tenth and the best and fairest last year. Brett Voss can go forward and kick a goal as we know. Looking for his first today to join the party. He's hooked the kick. We'll get the distance with E. Sends it four O's back, but out of bounds on the full. Kerr's also pushed forward, Jacko, and uh, Luke Ball's going with him. Well, they've opted to play him in the forward line, and just think he's, his best asset is he's the bloke that's got to get the footy and start winning possession and breaking the lines, just like the El Sano and Montana are doing for St Kilda. It's a good matchup for them, uh, though, this one, St Kilda, because they're taking away one of the best getters in the business. Yep. Luke Ball's done a superb job. Prittis the handball to Brett Jones. Kicks to the centre corridor, Chick waiting. It's not only has he kept Kerr quiet, he's had 15 good possessions as well. 
No Brownlow votes today for Daniel Kerr after picking up six against the Saints last year as the Eagles won both matches pretty comfortably. 18 and 39 points. They've got a mountain to climb though right now. Otherwise they'll slip to eight and four with a date at Amy Stadium and the Crows coming up next week. Grocer on half back. Very wide ball and Cox has just taken the mark in the field of play. Graham coming on for the Eagles. Gilbert lurking to do likewise for the Saints. He'll replace Voss as the kick goes towards half forward but has been marked, well marked by Kaczynski. CB on for Cox. So the changes are coming thick and fast as Kaczynski goes back and that's all right for Hudgeton. Well, this is good play by St Kilda. I mean, uh, what they're doing is denying West Coast possession of the ball. And, uh, whilst they're protecting this lead, they're still able to attack, but uh, just not allowing West Coast to get any momentum. Oh, not 15 that time. Hayes back to Sam Fisher. Sense of urgency now. Will this open the door for the Eagles? Staker and Hayes. Staker knocks it on. Prittis about to get collared. Got the handball away. Brett Jones runs onto it. Whirl. Takes off. Finds a space. Lynch leads for him. There's a free kick. Hang on. Downfield free as Chick went down in the Shepherd. Waters will take the kick and go to Brett Jones. Too Look far out. this kid, Jacko. He's won the can lift. One that can lift the team with his hard run off the halfback. Graham caught by Sam Fisher. There's a free kick. Would be advantage, yes. Although Milne kicks it out of bounds for a throw-in. Well, that's what they're lacking, is that run. I mean, Brett Jones, he's uh, he's demonstrated on numerous occasions on this oval, but uh, he's a lone soldier at the minute. No Cheek, no Hearn with that run. Nikoski, Hunter. Because they're all back, paddling back to uh, Kaczynski and Rewalt because they had pressure down there. Harvey got the handball away. Sam Fisher kicks to the outer wing and Gilbert in front of Chick takes the mark. Only Revolt and Kaczynski with the Saints in their attacking half here. So Gilbert is patient as he awaits an option and then pumps it long to Revolt. One out with Hunter. And Hunter assumes the front position and marks well and goes to Selwood. Well, Gilbert's got to learn that he's got to kick it to his advantage, Rewald. Not kicking along is useless unless you put it the Rewald side of the pack. Eagles have kicked just one goal since the time on period of the opening turn. CB. High to a one on two. Harvey in front. Ball at the back. Over for a throw in. Well, they're just forcing him wide. I mean, Martin Acosta got the ball in the centre of the ground and just look for CB out on this centre wing. No direct play going through the corridor. And that's where St Kilda made this lead because they were going long and direct through the middle. Selwood bringing down Hayes. Prittis. Unable to get it out. Ball extricates it well. And look at the hands from Del Santo. Wins a free as well as he gives it off to Mill. Takes a couple of ambitious bounces. Draws heavy traffic. Keeps his head in the situation. Feeds Graham. Takes off. Got the shepherd there from Baker. The kick down the centre corridor. Over the head of the outstretched revolt. And Glass hits it out to Braun. To the wing now for Selwood. Once again, Graham, he, he runs off the half back line as well as just about anybody, but I reckon he butchered the footy a fair bit today with his kicking. He's generally hits targets, but so he, tonight he's got the helicopter going. CB waits for it, can't mark. Luke Ball was right alongside. Daniel Kirk, can he provide the lift? Yeah. He's been worn very tightly, and he can't get it out there. They are hot, the Saints. Their pressure is sensational. Lenny Hayes getting a run. Andrew Thompson onto the ground. That's all I want you to tell me. Darren at his finest. Uh, yes. At his finest. He is back. I know summer school teachers. <laughs> yeah, headmaster's back. CB the hit out. Kerr. Court. Got it to Hearn from a standing start. They need a lift. Hearn provides it. Terrific goal. Well, that's exactly what uh, they required. It was Kerr at the bottom getting out the uh, supply. 
We've got to start winning a few more of these contests. There's Kerr. He's being uh, harangued and harassed. I think it might have been Andrew Thompson, his opponent. He got wrong the wrong side of him. The ball slipped out the other way. And well, Hearn has got another nail in uh, the coffin of a midfielder if he wants to pinch it because that's what you do if he can spark them. It's going to be remembered by the coaching staff. It stirred the 40,000 natives. 50 points down, though, Clinton. I mean, not quite 50. Make that 44. Make it 38 now. Thank you. Here's Kerr feeding it to Selwood. Good balance. The give out wide. Graham had it knocked away by Graham. Good run, Xavier Clark. And then a pretty impressive kick. Blake, now Revolt with a lot of space, and Kaczynski. They're two on two in the forward 50, so there's lots of room for them. Blake goes long, Kaczynski wrong-footed, glass the mark. And 50. It's great defence from Glass, Jacko. Oh, it certainly was. Just uh, held his front position. Very strong player. Just noticed the last couple of times he's... Uh, Rolled the dice. Well, not rolled the dice, but he's actually won a couple of 50 50s, which is needed, and ran the ball out of the back line. Just since in the last couple of minutes, West Coast wanting to get a bit more run going. Nikoski's been getting a few touches. Brett Jones, as we see now, just trying to get this run going. Here's Jones feeding it wide. Hearn. This another is the important kick, this one. Another of those that can provide the run. He goes down the line, and Staker got pushed in the back by Fisher. Would have to kick it about 55. A chance for back to back goals here, West Coast. Just starting to get a bit of play going their way. Playing in front will force the issue. Will he go for it? Oh, he has to go for it now. Yeah. And can kick it. And he's kicked six goals, eight this season. The Eagles are coming. So after getting just one goal for all of the second quarter and then none in the opening half of the third quarter, they get back-to-back -back goals and draw within 32 points. Well, you caught it, Jacko. It was sweet off the boot. That's a beautiful kick from Brent Stoker. Not much in the free kick, but certainly there. The umpire had to pay it if he saw it. Only had the four possessions in the first half. Needs a big half. Now a very important centre bounce as John Worsfold and his Lieutenant Peter Sumich watch on. Eagles striking back. Next goal, a big one. CB to Kerr. Brett Jones crunched into by Milne. Montagna, what a clever kick. In the path of Xavier Clark. 55 out. Oh, great, oh, vision. great vision. Milne's going to run onto it. This should be the quick reply. And Milne's snap is a beauty. What an answer! What a telling goal! Gee, there are a couple of good passages there. Milne gets the finish, but the setup was superb. Well, good leadership by St Kilda in the middle here. They sense that West Coast got back to back goals. Need to do something. Don't allow the momentum to shift. Continue to play their good play, but Xavier Clark, good vision inside. And Milne, I mean, this is where he's so elusive and dangerous. Runs forward very, very hard and uh, just got Martin Nikoski napping there. Very good goal. A great vision from Clark. The corridor free. Rewald vacated. In popped the blowfly. Milne with his second. And the Saints sees it back out to 38 points. Play on. Hayes the hurry kick forward. Where Punda got a favourable bounce. Working in tandem with Prittis there. Now Nikoski on halfback. Coming up to his 12th disposal. And... His return game, Daniel Kerr, after just three kicks and 14 handballs against the Bombers, five kicks, now six kicks and seven handballs here. We're a punder as the Saints have got back in numbers, all 18 Saints in their defensive half. We're a punder wide for Lynch. He gets a free here, the big Q has been largely held today, just one goal against Hudson. Not happy to give away the free. Outside of his range here, Glenn. Just, just a touch, yeah. Just a touch. Top of the square here. And he goes to that location, hoping for Seabee, who goes to ground. Lacra and Morton dive on it. Lee Fisher and Waters and a bounce. It's 
So the Eagles will ruck here with CB. The Saints have Kaczynski. Third man up for Yora the fist. The crack coming through, knocked it down. Prittis dives on it. Going nowhere, we'll get a bounce. The clearances running St Kilda's way, 22 to 19. John Blakey there pointing with Ross Lyon. Eagles pressing for another one, 38 points adrift. Blake's now at the centre half forward roll with uh, Rewald right up the ground. Clark in the goal square, Xavier. Kaczynski, looping handball stolen by Nikoski. Prittis now finding an opening on the left. Long ball to the top of the square. Will the Saints try and concede? Staker can't go from there. It's over for a boundary throw in. Good pressure by uh, St Kilda. Just well, they got massive numbers down there. It's very congestive and uh, going to take something special for West Coast to pinch a goal here. But uh, they get their hands on it. We know how dangerous they are when they run forward. Lacroix, the man, there's the goal. Great roving. Just his second kick for the game, Mark Lacroix. Doesn't need a lot of possessions to be damaging. His reward is a seat. <laughs> Well, right now the Saints uh, have got to address this stoppages scenario because over the last uh, 10 minutes it's been all the West Coast. Could well have been a free kick against Kaczynski there, but uh, Lacroix and Magnificent just got away from... I think it was Sam Fisher following him through in that contest. He's a very talented player. But they need to address the contest at footy again. The Saints... And now losing the clearances this quarter, Jared, on that point, 9-4. to four. Yeah, it's uh, been so self-evident. In fact, it's probably hurt them that uh, Luke Ball has been taken away from the contest. I think he was uh, significant in that. They'll keep him with Kerr, but they may be forced into dragging him back in. Harvey back into the ground, and there's Ball back into the centre. And he's immediately beset upon by Prittis. We're in the time-on period of the oh, third Andrew, term. Chick, and Chick's given away another free. And the other issue is Montagna's been well held by Hearn, and Harvey has that much of an impact in this term, only a couple of possessions. Hayes. Saints 32 points to the good. Short ball for Harvey. Needed a bit more. Braun got away well. We're a punder. We know he can be a thumping kick. Chooses Lynch the short option. Will he go long again to the top of the square? Well, Cox there, one on one. Should go then. He does. Thumping effort. Can Cox get to the front? Waiting down is Graham. Here they come. They are surging. Eagles with four goals to one in the last eight minutes. Well, this is the momentum that they need to get their way. And uh, Quentin Lynch, twice he's gone to the top of the square, twice they've got a result. And uh, Probably needed to get a bit quicker because there's a mismatch there with, with Dean Cox. But uh, what about the play. pack, though, Jack? Yeah. Wasn't it good to see the big pack? Well, it was, and it was uh, Bo Waters the way he hit it from the side. He tried to take a screamer there as we see him flying. This. Where's that come from, Jerry? The good old days. That was a big Ooh. pack jump. It's like end to end. <laughs> back. It's good fun. Saints fans wouldn't mind a steadying goal. CB rucking, Kerr in the middle, in the engine room. Hearn wrapped up, good tackle, Blake. And Blake managed to force it onto Hayes and Harvey and back to Lenny Hayes. Fiora, a little fumble. And it knocked away by Glass. Fiora's had just three possessions all game. He can't get one there. Awkward ball, Braun took it well. Did brilliantly. Stenglein towards half forward. Chick had it knocked away. Kerr, oh, what a tackle by Gilbert. It's tough right now. This game's up for grabs despite the apparent lopsided scoreline. Stenglein drives it inside 50. Graham is waiting down. Is another one about to come their way? Can Cox slip clear? No, he's brought down. Oh, and Kaczynski rides the water's bump beautifully and feeds Montagna. Here's a big moment in this game, that one. Montagna away. No Open one forward 50. He's going to put it in the path of Revolt getting back. Got a bad bounce. Well, and Rosa. Right, this back is himself. Play. The 20 year old taking off. Eagles with numbers on half back. Gathering the bouncing ball now. Brett Jones receives it back from Stenglein. Kerr's getting involved in this third quarter. 
Pretty clear, uh, Jacko, what you said. Coach Walsfold just said, take a risk. Okay, Get started running. Handball from the back. Take them on. Kerr dumped. Braun, can he get away? He can. Chicken Gilbert, youth, experience, nullify one another. Baker, crowd really involved now. This is Blake. Five minutes from three-quarter time. Jamie Graham's made a bit of an impact since he's gone forward there. He's kicked Z the goal and uh, contested a couple. Oh, Xavier Clark just had to attack it and pick it up. It's opened the door for Rosa. Inside the forward 50, Blake getting back, crashes the pack, check for Cox. The Eagles get another one! It's Ben Lomit Subiaco now. They've got five of the last six goals, and that one time 44 point lead is back to 20. Well, contested possession, that's the main thing. Daniel Chick hit a couple of uh, hard bodies before, and just. That one there in particular fed out the handball. Him and Bo Waters in particular of, uh, I guess, the whole team, as you mentioned before, Jared, they've just gone back and backing themselves and just mm. beat their direct opponent, win the 50-50, and uh, the momentum's shifted now to West Coast. Well, it was another chick moment. We saw one late in September last year. Yeah. We <laughs> saw two late in September, but that was a great chick moment. Great hands. <laughs> Kerr's had some big possessions. It's been a big battle between him and Ball. West Coast goals, nine of them shared between eight individual goal kickers as Kerr to wear a punter to Morton. Trying to get it to Dean Cox from 50 on his left, goes deep. Just misses. Bear in mind there were a couple of wins last year by the Eagles. One down at Geelong where they were shot for all yeah. money. Carlton here. And another one against the yeah. Blues over here, Clinton. Yes. It's Starting to smell like it, but <laughs> the Saints have uh, they've invested too much in this to just simply lay down. Play on now, you've got around. Play on. There's a classic finish unfolding. Gilbert to the wing. All of a sudden, the Saints kicking is just starting to let them down again. Good smiler from Hayes. Boundary throwing. Milne on, Voss off. Eagles make two changes as well. Lacra off, Mikoski on, Hearn on. As you see, Stingline is down, and he is currently one of the 18. So they're trying to get him to come off the ground. Milne wins a free. Stingline off the ground, Selwood back on as Milne wins the free. Andrew Thompson now on Kerr. There is Stingline. Now, good running from out of the back half by Sam Fisher. He didn't have to break stride. He runs all the way to the 50, and the defender with a thumping kick at goal. That if that's not a free against the Saints, well, it is. So the goal will not stand. It goes against Kaczynski. It was going to be a goal. Sam Fisher is denied his first goal of the year. And the goal that they required, despite being 19 points to the good. Lynch for Selwood. Fair to say this wind doesn't have much impact at this ground, Jacob. <laughs> wind is going left. The goals are going right. Hunter happy to maintain position for the time being. Kuzitsky being rested for what will no doubt be a very big final term. The ball running away for a boundary throw in. Well, there's great faith in... As we have a look at Stingler off the ground, he's an important player to have off the ground, and that's he might have just made it. No, yeah. yeah. Great faith in uh, Clark in defence. Raf Clark, he's tall, but he's not strong, and he's up against a ruckman in CB who can mark the footy. But uh, the coach has stayed with him in defence for the whole match. It's been a five goal to two Eagle quarter. Ah! Will there be one late? Either way would be crucial. Cox sends the kick wide. Staker didn't get a favourable bounce. Hutchton backpedalling nicely. Attard to Hayes. Braun bearing down, tackling well. Skills. Staker knocking it wide. Montagna and Hearn. Hearn, what a super pickup. Montagna the tackle. Hearn stands up in it. Chick just happy to crash into another body and we'll get a bounce.
He certainly made a difference, uh, Hearn, going in the middle of the ground, just winning a lot of, I guess, 50-50 contested possessions and really giving West Coast drive, moving into their forward line. Him and Daniel Kern, but the way he picked that ball up, just a strong body for a young person. This bloke's dominating, though. Cox. Oh. Oh. No need to give it away, Eagles. Stephen Milne reported for a dangerous high tackle. No, it was the free kick. Tell you what, it probably has saved a goal because the, the Cox tap to Kerr was first class. Have a look at it. Here he goes. He's going to break that. And he has been well and truly cutting it. Not quite the official coat hanger because his head's still there, but it was almost close. Run it, run it, he plays on. He gave the handball to Hearn. It's their set play because Hearn's a thumping kick. He's just not straight on this occasion. Just caught napping there, St Kilda. They should have known that's a bit of a set play, especially Hearn. He's done that many a times. Yeah. Lucky it's a let off for St Kilda that he didn't uh, finish off. Three goal margin. Is Milne in trouble for that tackle, gentlemen? Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's Graham out of defence. He had to make the tackle. He couldn't let him go by. Montagna with a long ball to the outer wing, but Kerr has been everywhere in this third stanza. They are just under the pump here, the Saints. They've gone away from what uh, made them the dominant side here before half time. Kerr's the run had stop and the kicking to position stop. Kerr's had a dozen in the third quarter. Waters will fly. Where are the crummers? It's Hearn. He oh, breaks one tackle. Lost it. Got oh, it to Waters. They're all over the Saints. Oh, what a tackle to bring Waters down. Holding the ball. Jason Graham saving a goal. Brilliant tackle. No that right foot. He needed to slap it on his boot. He didn't realise how many blokes were around him. I mean, he's Shannon Hearn once again. Just got about. That was a throw there. Bit of a, bit of a <laughs> sort of throw. That could be the moment. That could be the moment. The Eagles... We're virtually back within 12 points. We we're reaching for the pens to write it down. But the Saints might take a three-goal buffer to the final turn. Graham sends it wide for Fiora. Cox, Kerr, Hearn. Three men that have just absolutely impacted on this match this afternoon. They're playing for the siren here. Virtually under siege for the last 15 minutes. Just cannot give away a goal with a mistake. Graham's kick is wide and he turns it over. Down to 18 seconds. Lynch will thump it inside 50. Big play this. Graham will fly. Oh, CB in the middle. Will kick after the siren to get the Eagles to within two goals. How many times have you seen the scripts there? He's taken a mark right on the siren, but uh, good contested mark. You were worried, Jared, about Raf Clark on Mark Seeby here. And on the final act of an engrossing third stanza, it might be a very important moment. Well, it all comes back to that Graham kick. It was a shocker. He has chopped the footy across the half-back line. He's played pretty well, but you can't, you can't undo your good work with giving the footy back when there's 10 seconds to go. Would have been better off kicking it into the grandstand. 40,000 are ready to explode. What a buzz. And the body language was telling as 15 Eagles surrounded Mark Seavey. There's a spring in the step. And it's game on with a quarter to play. Yeah, it is. And surprisingly so. The Saints were so dominant in the first half. Didn't think the match winners were there. Didn't think those that are on the ground uh, had it in them today. But uh, how wrong I was because uh, they are back. Kerr is a star because he has lifted himself when most couldn't. And Cox has done the same. Quarter remains. Saints by two goals. The 12-7. The margin just two goals with a quarter to play after they unloaded six goals to two in what was an enthralling third stanza. Daniel Kerr leading the way, 12 of his 20 possessions coming in quarter number three. And we're all set for a thrilling final term. Just who will have the better legs in the run home? Let's hear from the Eagles forward coach, Darren Harris with Drew Banfield. 
Mate, a great momentum swing in that corner. What was the message for going into last? Yeah, just the same, you know. It was a really good one-on-one -on -one effort all over the ground. I thought blokes like Braun and Cox, our leaders, really gave us a lift. So it's just that hard one-on-one -on -one contest. Best of luck in the last quarter. And Cox is going to have uh, a big say in the result, you would think. He's up against Ricks. It's an interesting decision by the coach to have Kaczynski, who's on the boundary line at the moment, get his hamstring stretched. With the hamstring going up. The neck going back. We'll get a shot of that shortly. So much at stake. Can the Saints hang on or will the Eagles, full of momentum, surf this emotional home crowd to victory? Rosa drives them forward for the first time to Rowan Jones and Graham got his back. They're full of run now. Stingline going to the lead of Lynch. Great start. Eagles need this one to be converted. The big man, he's under the pump. He's on his distance, Jacko. About 50, that's where he generally kicks them yep. more accurately and the gloves off so much to talk about cox and kerr but shannon hearn uh, the block that he aided in that center to clearance uh, no one will see and i won't go on the stat sheet but uh, he aided uh, a passage for daniel kerr to win that ball well done he's the only man in the top 30 goal kickers in the afl with more behinds than goals this year 22 goals 28 so 50 scoring shots 44 percent conversion this to make it a one goal game He's got it. Great kick. He's got his second. And you could not have scripted a better start to the final term for the Eagles, who have kicked the last five goals of the match. Well, it's really now up to the Saints. This continues. Eagles will win by three or four goals. The Saints have just dropped off what put them in such an impressive position at half time. The run stop, the long risk taking kicks have stopped. And Kaczynski has stopped. There he is, right on cue. The work to the lower back region. St Kilda having lost four in a row. In danger of falling three games out of touch with the top eight. Led by 44 points, it's now just six. They've got a lot of numbers in the midfield and down in the back half too. Can they win the footy? Hayes, Montagna, Harvey. Dragged off it by Kerr. Rosa to Prittis. Bounces it up to the 50. Blake back for Graham. Look out. Caught. Lynch the tackle. Hudson. They're under siege right now here. Baker does well. Squeeze the kick out. Attard got to get rid of it and does. And Gilbert's got space. Finally some run. He's got to take it all the way. They're just playing with one forward. The Saints and that's Nick Rewald. He's a good one to have. And Gilbert goes long. Revolt can't get to this contest. The Eagles with numbers, but Selwood goes to ground. Brett Jones caught by Xavier Clark holding oh. the ball. Perfect tackle. And the X-Man will take it right on the 50. Well, just good tackle, good technique. Pin the ball. Didn't allow him to release it. And uh, very good tackle there. Jeez, it's a high risk coming in. It went to away from where Rewald was, in fact. There was three or four. Eagles and it should have taken away and there also is one that slipped through. Yeah. Xavier Clark kicked a goal in the second term. Has missed four matches this year with a calf complaint from right on the 50. Kicks a thumping ball. Has it got the carry? No. Touched on the line. Well, I'll look at that the Saints and want to know why there wasn't another Shepherd. I think it was Gilbert that was sitting there spectating. He could have just got in underneath his, the Ruckman and just bullocked that ball across the line. Long kick back into play. Targets Hearn. Timely fist by Hayes. What roll out. Saints wanted to. Hearn denies them. Kicks to the attacking side of the wing with a very good bullet. And Rose has got the mark. It's a fluid movement forward. This by the Eagles. Staker overruns it, but Rowan Jones backs him up. Prittis now. High ball towards the hot spot. Lynch in a wrestle with Hudson. At the back, will Max concede? No. Raf Clark over the top for Hayes. Got to start running the Saints. Too many are just spectating. Spent a lot of energy early. Montagna the footy. Remember, West Coast has lost just one of their last 59 games at this venue to a Victorian based club. Speaking of running. They work it out nicely to the outer side, and the all-time running man, Robert Harvey, is there. He's had 23 today. That takes him to 9,066 on his career, Jared, for those that's that are it. counting. 
<laughs> We're about to tick that over by one more. Cole Hutchison, Kevin Taylor and all the statsmen have their fingers poised as Baker takes the mark. It's been an incredible game of momentum swings. Hasn't it? I mean, earlier the West Coast were playing the slow footy and they got towed up. Now it's the Saints playing the slow footy and maybe they're not taking enough risks to win. Well, the question is how much they spent that first half. And they, they played a very exciting brand of football. It is a big oval. Uh, this is where they've got to dig deep. But uh, deny West Coast possession of the ball. Just hold it and uh, work your way up. This is where you've got to dig deep. This is what finals football is all about, is being able to hold when, it, uh, when it's tough and the momentum's not your way. And on the boundary line, one of the most important men on the day is Justin Kaczynski, Drew. Any thoughts on when he'll be back? Yeah, look, he was running up and down the boundary line. Looked pretty uh, right to get back on, so matter of time. All right, thanks, Drew. Saints with the clearance here. Montagna, game leading ball winner, 26 touches. High to half. Oh, it's courage going back into the unknown. Brett Jones and Revolt. Pretty good result for the Saints. A one on two, throw it in. But that's the stat that won. I mean, John Walsall on the match committee will reward this because it just threw Nick Rewald to think the other way. I mean, when you've got a forward letting up, he could possibly take a chess mark. But Brett Jones, well done. Good carriage. Harvey with Rosa in pursuit. Thompson flicked it out. Kerr sharks it. Graham caught behind Raf Clark. Good tackled, holding the ball. He said just dropped it. Interesting decision. Not a lot of prior opportunity. It appeared on first glance for Raf as Graham kicks inside the 50. Lee Fisher, good hands. Well, they've got Brett Voss on the boundary line. They just look Jacko to me to need that extra forward behind Nick Rewald at the moment. Well, they just need it, yeah, a bit more of a spark, I guess. More flexibility up there. Going to Nick Rewald all the time. West Coast will do appeal two or three numbers, like they did with Lynch and Staker in the first quarter. Ramifications of the next 15 minutes, so important for both clubs, but particularly the Saints, and not just. The status of this match and the occasion for Robert Harvey for their season. Kaczynski back on the ground. That's good news for the Saints. Raf Clark with a long ball to Sam Fisher. Helped out of it by Staker and Brett Jones takes the mark. They've just given it back way too often, St Kilda. I mean, denying the Eagles the footy is probably exactly what their coach wants, but he doesn't want to lose possession in doing so. And I think to be fair to Clark, there weren't too many people running hard to provide him with another option other than the obvious, long. Lynch is 70 metres out, even for his thumping boot. That's a fraction too far, as you see a couple of leads for him. He'll go long to the top of the square. Kerr. Kerr's going to fly. Good defensive spoil by Fiora, and Harvey's come from the ground, and Kaczynski is finally back on. He's had a bit of a spell now. Can Ricks go with Cox? But well, he's going to have to, Jared, because uh, this is where you find out where footballers are made from, especially up against the best ruckman in the competition who had a massive third quarter. I think one of the exciting things today is we're seeing the emergence of a possibly a, a, a true star, and that's Hearn. He's jumped into the middle, and he's taken his opportunity to show exactly what he thinks he's capable of, and that's playing A-grade midfield. And a well-developed player for just 19 years of age, a man who played in SANFL football for a couple of premiership flags at Central Districts before making his AFL debut. This is Milne, who was reported in that frenetic third quarter. Saints have patiently worked it to half-back. Now they're going to go to a contest between wing and half-forward. Revolt engages with Glass. Selwood now with Luke Ball tracking him, and Selwood got it to Kerr. Such a proactive influence in the third term for the Eagles and where a punder reads that one well and Brilliant. has a man presenting for him in Graham and the Eagles look like they've got the run now as Graham goes to the attacking side of the wing for Rowan Jones and they build again and Jones goes to half forward for Waters he's just giving him too many meters Graham two or three times now he's uh, been three meters off the pace the Saints can't hold on they've got to do some attacking themselves but they have to hold on right at this passage of play for Yora Needs to pick it up and does so smoothly for Milne. A goal the difference. Milne with Chick chasing him. Yeah. Milne's kick a turnover as Rosa will take it. Loose man is on in the middle. He goes wide. This is Cox. Listen to this crowd lifting the Eagles. Cox to Lynch. 
And I reckon he's within range, Glenn. Oh, he is now. He certainly is now. He just kicked one about that same distance not long ago, but uh, good vision by Dean Cox. Can be rushed and excited with the crowd to go along to the goal square, but uh, pinpoint accuracy is very, very important. Decision making, crucial stages of the game, is, uh, is, is vital. We spoke about rules on either side of the country. <laughs> How about this one? If huh? this one goes through, there's going to be one hell of a roar on the western half. And ironic that the man celebrated as the marathon man needs his side to start doing what he's done for 20 years, run. The kick. Clear behind. John Warsfold will be just absolutely thrilled with what he's seeing here. With the stars out, some of the guys are just building reputations and they're busting their boiler doing it. Well, he invites them to do that, Jerry. He doesn't rely on your so-called you know, superstars continually to do every week. And uh, that's the important thing about West Coast and, and the greatness about them, the evenness across their whole playlist. Contest on push the wing, out. a push-out, free-kick West Coast. Kerr and Brett Jones both claiming it. Kerr wins it. He gets more free kicks than any other man in the AFL, and he's had a few today as he goes back to where a punder. I'll let us say that, Clinton. Why is that? It is, a statistical, it is a statistical <laughs> fact. Here's, the ground, here's the man. Eagles pressing for the lead. Kick smothered by Blake. Look at him charge. He fired it up, Jaron. Prittis now, caught by Harvey. Back for Hearn. Caught by Milne. Stands up in it. Got it to Nikoski. Swings on to the left. Bangs it inside 50. Says, try and mark this. Hudge to the spoil. Lynch has runners going for him. Top of the goal square. Waters running onto it. Was he pushed, say the crowd? No. Fiora did all right. Now Del Sando. Working in a confined space. Back to Rath Clark. Little fumble. Will he rush it through? He does. Pressure. Big pressure. To make the right decision coming out here. St Kilda need to hold on to this ball and just work their way up. Got to get it in there, forward 50. Well, the Saints have proved they can get it to the wing, but no further. Yep. They've kicked just two goals of the second half. Look at that, the Eagles, the last six inside 50s for the match as Revolt marks on the wing. Oh, that was close. And umpire Goldsby put the whistle to the lips. That's he didn't pay kick. the free. Revolt to Fiora from 55. Hooking the kick are behind. That was better play by St Kilda. It just made it a lot more interesting if they had to kick that goal. But that's the type of play they've got to do. Still channel their football through Rewalt and uh, find probably another player to stand up and uh, present themselves. Because that's what you need. West Coast has got three or four up forward. St Kilda only got one at the minute. We've passed the halfway mark of this we're final a, turn. We're a punter's ducked out the back. They've done this particularly well in the second half. Found the loose man. Started the uh, overlap from the back 50. Now Stenglein. And Baker and Kerr. Yes, Kerr is, went down in the middle of the field. He's up now. And uh, Baker, the smoking gun alongside. Well, the same season's on the line right here. Yep. This next 10 minutes. I mean, there's no question. They go down here. Season all over. Oh, Clark and Ball on the bench, ready to go. And this would be the toughest of defeats to take. They're not beaten yet. In fact, they're five points in front. They're playing like they've beaten Clinton. That's the difference. They need to find someone to start attacking. Here's Maybe an Graham. Maybe Graham. He forced the ball wide. Blake with the tackle. The bounce. He's gone. He's caught. Holding the ball. Yeah, good vision by the umpire there. He's in the right position. He dragged it back in. And uh, it was a good decision. And he even called it as well. The Saints have had 27 free kicks to 16 as Harvey goes to Kaczynski. Glass affects the spoil. Kaczynski with four first half goals, that is all. Lacroix deprived of possession by a desperate Graham and a bounce will result. Well done, Graham. He's running hard. Only need two or three to start. And most will follow here. Have a look at this. Kerry getting a little bit of uh, moon. Here's Harvey, wrapped up by Rosa. Prittis with a high ball. The Saints with a loose man on the wing and Sam Fisher. Slow. Got the overlap. Here is Attard, the former Brisbane Lion, crossing midfield. Can the Saints break clear? Clark the target at half forward. Rath Clark doubling back. Milne in support. Brought down by Wirapunda holding the ball. Eight minutes to go. 
Great tackle from Wirra. He's lifted. Saints clinging to a five-point lead. Dean Cox with the footy. Brett Jones is up the middle. Del Sano's just tailed off him. Rowan Jones, the target. Good spoil. From behind by Atard. Hayes, Del Santo, Fiora. 55 out. Long ball. Clark and Kerr. Kerr did well. Knocked it to vacant territory. Pursued it. He's had a whale of a second half. No one long, though, for him. That's why he's holding it. Going to the centre corridor. Good running, Adam Hunter. We've got numbers back, heaps of them, the Saints. That's why there was no one to go for Graham's long, last long kick in. Stenglein. Two bounces. Crosses halfway. Brings it to the corridor for Brett Jones. He will drive it long. Rowan Jones caught behind Revolt now in the back half. Hearn goes to ground. Revolt with the tackle. Ball held in. A bounce 40 out from the West Coast goal. Nervous times for a first-year coach. A 44-point lead has dissipated. It's virtually been erased. It might be at any moment. But Sam Fisher gets the clearing kick away towards Attard. And Braun gets in his back. Got to maintain possession. The skills have let him down a number of times today. Must hit the target. Just his third kick coming up for Jaden Attard. And it's a safe one to Raph Clark. Hasn't he been important late in just his third game for the season? Decides to handball here to Gilbert. Who thumps it long towards Voss. Brett Jones from behind affects the spoil down to Hunter. Now Stengline over the top, giving it for Braun. Awkward bounce, look out. Revolt now against Morton. Goes to the boundary line, the clock will stop with 6.08 to play. They're really uh, just covering off the St Kilda strengths at the present time. They're allowing the ball to come off the half-back, Jacko. They're kicking it long St Kilda to centre-half forward, but there's nobody there to support the bloke going for the mark. Hayes, good hands, Del Santo away. It's Kaczynski and Kaczynski. Good run, Del Santo. Boldly running to the 50. One-on-one -on -one is deep. Kaczynski helped out of it by Glass. All-Australian fullback, that's why. Silver gives it off to him. He shrugs the tackle. Gave it to Hunter. And the Eagles withstand another Saints insurgency. Only for the time being, maybe. Hunter back to Brett Jones. Silver Glass again. And we're as often alone. And we'll take it out wide. We're a punder. Geez, they're on their feet, both teams. Aren't they? They are absolutely spent. The Saints with two behinds in the final term. The Eagles with one goal, three. Stingline at full stretch could not hang on. A boundary throw in on the outer wing. Another look at this one on one duel. And Glass wins out. Because it's off the ground for ball. Some fresh legs. Milne also off. Eagles still running. Kerr. Harvey, desperate, in his 350th. Attard, okay. good hands. Blake to Fiora. Vision inside. Graham allows Voss to take it. Receives it from him, but is caught. Ricochet important here. Just gave Kerr the ball back. brought down. We're a punder. We're inside of five minutes. How will this end? What will the final story be? Morton's got it. Should have been better that one, Saints. They just uh, succumbed again to the pressure. Poor decision. The Eagles haven't been in front since the opening minute of the second quarter. Montagna for Hayes. Hudgston. Gilbert. Cool heads prevailing. Ambitious was Gilbert. Fiora takes the safe route. Oh, Raph Clark goes to a contest over the head of Voss. Brett Jones has been very important today as well. He's had it 25 times. Nikoski, first game back, feeling the heat, receives from Prittis, sends a high ball to the wing. Staker over the top! Just come on. This boy needs to, needs to lift in this last five minutes, needs to have a contribution. Less than four to play. Can the Saints hang on? They don't look like scoring a goal, but their defence is holding the Eagles off. Well Harvey played. for Blake. 
Look out. He can't go back. Lee Fisher, good hands. Fiora. Lacroix closing fast. Fiora did well. has come on and he's forward. He's got ahead of the pack. One more goal might finish it. How far can Del Santo go? It's one on one inside the 50. He's going for it. Del Santo goes for home. That might be the killer blow. Their first goal since the middle of the third quarter gives them an 11 point lead as we tick into time on the final term. I just noticed in the last five minutes, St Kilda, they, they rolled the dice saying, this is where we're going to win the game now. And they just denied West Coast possession of the ball, especially each time coming out of their half-back line. West Coast were just pushed a little bit wide. But, uh, I mean, just a, a, a match-up there that Del Sano snuck around the back, ran on, went for goal. Good play. Goals out of the midfield. That was the target. They've got some today. Brilliant now Sando with two, Baker with two. Yeah, it's just great to work. Timed it well, getting onto the ground. Just got to reply quickly here near the coast. And Montagna, very clever there. Hacks it out of midair, inside 50. Hunter paddling it near the line with Milne closing fast. Boundary throw in. Oh, that would have been a brave decision yeah. in front of the crowd there to give deliberate. It's good work by Milne, good closing speed there, and just uh, good pressure, forced the ball out. It's in their forward line now, wasting push we're upon the forward. They've got to win the game, so uh, we know he's an uncanny goal kicker. Cox the palm down. Hayes. Del Santo on the right. Out of bounds on the full. No. Touched. Oh. Stays in play. Baker. Revolt. They've won this now. What a dramatic finish. The ball stayed in play. Stephen Milne kept it alive. And the Saints will dance home with a stunning victory in Robert Harvey's milestone game. Set by a metre. <laughs> the boundary umpire was in perfect position. Well, whatever. Well done to Stephen Milne. That's it. You play to the whistle, and I mean, that's a good lesson. It was line ball. <laughs> Thirty-nine thousand four hundred and one. Largely, Eagle fans may disagree, but you have to be sure if you're the boundary umpire that the entire ball is out. It may well have been above the line. Ooh. Judging from the silence from the two <laughs> gents to my right, they're yet to be convinced. Two and a half minutes. Eagles would need a miracle now. Pritis sending it forward. Morton, Braun. It looked for all the world that they were going to overrun the Saints. They dug their way back from 44 points to within five. They couldn't get any closer. Can they conjure one here through Staker? For Wirrapunda. Great tackle by Raf Clark. Boundary throw in, 2-10 to go. Oh, well done there. Great. Uh, Raf Clark, good pressure there. I mean, David Wirrapunda, you mentioned before, Jared, it's gone forward to kick an uncanny goal. Just zeroed in on the hips, forced a ball over, out of bounds. And his leg slipped. Revolt gains 20, 25 metres. Graham another 10. Harvey another 15. All about yardage right now. Hunter brought down, pushed in the back, inside of two minutes. And St Kilda, Ross Lyon has said he's happy enough with how the scoreboard oh, yeah. looks. <laughs> in the words of the great EJ Witten, well, not hit the boundary, but hit the back line. Waters thumps it long. Can they get a contested mark? They cannot. Morton losing out to ball. Sam Fisher. Boot to ball quickly. Waters will knock it back. There's no Saints forward at the centre. Robert Harvey, the stage has been yours all day. Now helping him out by going forward is Milne. Nikoski, Milne. And the Saints will be happy with that. That's a good win there by Milne. Just held the ball right there. Wasn't silly in giving the free kick away. Wasting precious time. Say so that's it, Jared. Looks like it. What a tribute to their greatest ever player. Yep. Others at St Kilda have won a premiership and they've got a couple of legends of the game. But uh, this bloke, Harvey, third man up, he's the greatest.
And this will keep the dream alive. Montagna the goal. The Saints' four-game losing run is over. 23 points. This is one of the great stories of season 2007. Well, the third man up there, Clark, just nice punch. But the great story about this game is they threw the kitchen sink at uh, West Coast in that first half and deserved their 44-point lead. The spirit of West Coast, we always knew that they were going to come back. They certainly came back, but uh, the St. Kilda, this is where you build a side moving forward. And that's what uh, Ross Lyon said before the game. It's a player group that he's got, but moving forward, great victory. Lee Montagna puts them 23 points clear. Final minute of the match. An extraordinary one. It will come back to Lenny Hayes. The Saints with 29 free kicks for the afternoon. A huge number. The Eagles, 19. It's one of Lee Montagna's finest games for the Saints as well. Forty seconds to chew up. Sell with the mark. West Coast will now slip to eight and four, having lost four of their last six matches. Going to Amy Stadium to play the Crows next week. Geelong a game and percentage clear on top. Eagles pushing for a late one. Raf Clark in their way again, as he has been often this afternoon. Del Sato with another classy 26 possessions. We're down to 10 seconds to go. West Coast with the opening two goals led by 15. The Saints got out to a 44-point advantage. West Coast fought their way right back, got to within four points, but no closer. And the Saints are going to run it out and become just the second Victorian team in the last 60 matches here to beat the West Coast Eagles. Biggest win of Ross Lyons' brief AFL career. Another storied win in Robert Harvey's career. They say he's the embodiment of their motto of strength through loyalty. And on a day where he became just the 10th man to play 350 league games, the Saints reward him with a seemingly impossible victory. Jared, those fairy tales we spoke about, well, just occasionally. Well, you're going to be a unique person to inspire the performance we saw today. And uh, if ever anybody deserved a fairy tale finish, I think it is Robert Harvey. So Robert Harvey of the Saints, or it might be St. Robert Harvey, in fact. He has just uh, been a great player and a great inspiration to so many youngsters who are uh, playing the game and oldsters, in fact, who are watching the game. And well done to those Saints supporters for coming over and they have been rewarded. And the Eagles making a beeline for him as well. Straight to you, Drew. Mate, fantastic effort by the team. Congratulations on 350 games. They really dug deep for you. Oh, mate, like, been a tough year, but um, come over here. I haven't, had, haven't won too often over here for our all West Coast. And come over and boys digging like that it was a fantastic win we needed it relevant of milestone game or not it was just a great win and jeff i never, never played a grand final i played in this game it was fantastic and mate does keep you in touch with the top eight yeah it does i mean we didn't want to go four and eight four and eight the season's over so we're still in there fighting you know to come over here and beat the reigning premiers like that so, i mean it's just fantastic you don't often hear a uh, wa crowd give support like they did today um for you, so look, they were really behind you, the 350 games, mate, so congratulations. Oh, thanks a lot, boys, yeah, thanks. He had the family over here as well. He said, he was offered the chance, do you want to play the milestone match in Melbourne? He said, forget about it, we're, I'm fit, I'm ready to go. And uh, as he said, what a great line, he may never play in a grand final game, but, or a grand final winning team, but he played in this one here today. Oh, just a great football story. And just, that's further evidence of what a great person he is. Not only just a footballer, but could have probably said, I'll buy another week and play in front of my home crowd next week against Richmond and, uh, you know, in front of my own supporters. But no, put his hand up, I'll play anywhere. I'll play in Western Australia, I'll play in Sydney, wherever the game is, I'm fit to play. And just the durability. And he 
just the champion player, and uh, they're all the Saint supporters. Well done on a victory because you're se seriously challenged by West Coast in that second half. They stand up. It's what great teams are made of, Jared, and uh, maybe they've unearthed something here in the San Kilda faithful. Well, I think they'd be uh, really pleased with what they did in that second quarter. I think they now can see where their coach is trying to get them to go, and that is to uh, have two sides of their play, and it, it, it just unfolded for them in the second term. Whether or not it was by design or uh, just the, the pure greatness of a number of West Coast Eagles, they were poor uh, in various areas of the third and fourth quarter, but uh, the last 15 minutes of that last quarter, they stood tall. I thought Nick Del Sano deserves a special mention, and even Graham, I thought, Justin Graham, who uh, I think uh, cost him a number of possessions early. His last 10 or 15 minutes was outstanding. Justin Kaczynski, four first-half goals, one of the catalysts. Here he is with Drew. Justin, what's it like to win today, and especially on the occasion, 350 for Robert Harvey? Oh, look, it's a, it's a special day for the club, and so it's, it's a really an honour. It's humbling to, uh, to be out here and see a guy go to bed. You know, he could be 25 halves, you know. 350 games, a massive effort, so it's great to win it for him. And, uh, yeah, the game itself, a game of two halves, you guys came out firing in the first half? Yeah, uh, look, we, we stuck to our guns early and uh, had a bit of a lead there, and they, we always knew they were going to come hard, and, and they did because they were a quality outfit, but uh, it's good that we uh, we held tight and come away with it. Well, enjoy the celebrations. Good on you. What great pictures. Miles and miles away from their home base of Moorabbin. A victory to keep their season alive as they head to the Telstra Dome next Saturday night to take on the Tigers. They're five and seven. There's still two games adrift of the top eight, but they keep the dream alive for another week. Wasn't it amazing the way it uh, unfolded, though? Just the Stephen Milne setup of the goal. I mean, it was uh, it was almost as if it was writ above that something was going to break the Saints way, and it certainly did. And, uh, well, he's going to enjoy this moment is Robert Harvey. The warning signs for the rest of the teams that play St Kilda between now and the end of the year is they played a structure of football today which was so powerful. And obviously with Kaczynski and Rewall up front, and uh, the damage they did to West Coast in that first half is the reason why they won the game. No more parochial estate than Western Australia. No more a biased sporting crowd that won at Subiaco. But these Eagles supporters have stayed on. Well done. And are giving Robert Harvey a standing ovation. He said he hoped to be remembered as a player who gave his all and loved the club. Well, they love him too.